Chapter 3521 Boom. Theft is never good. Try looking at Na the Loon. Come Long Chen's fist struck the winged devil race expert's palm like a bolt of lightning. A huge heaven shaking explosion then erupted. If you dare to harm a single hair on her body, I will tear your corpse into ten thousand pieces and grind your bones to dust, roared Long Chen. Black Kai swirled out of his body, and his killing intent was overflowing. He was standing in front of Yu Qingxuan. Seeing the berserk, Long Chen protecting her, Yu Qingxuan was stunned. That winged devil expert had yet to release his aura, but he was definitely a terrifying mid-stage world king. For her, Long Chen was willing to risk his life against such an opponent. Hence, she looked at Long Chen foolishly. Even her fear of the winged devil expert vanished. Black Kai gushed out of Long Chen's body, and healing intent raged in his eyes. His face was twisted in a fierce and malevolent expression. As for that devil expert, he still had a faint smile. Eventually, the black Kai coming from Long Chen's body slowly dissipated. Yuh. Long Chen stared in shock at the winged devil expert. That devil expert also pulled back his hand. He looked at Long Chen. Just now, you were already bedeviled. When the thing that you want to protect the most is threatened, you transform into a devil. In truth, no matter how kind and good a person is, once their bottom line is touched, they will strike back with all their power, willing to pay any price. They won't mind becoming a devil either. Only now did Long Chen realize that the devil expert was intentionally testing him. Furthermore, under the influence of the wine, he had activated his dark energy. Curiously, though, his heart devil didn't take this opportunity to invade and take control of his soul. Long Chen was startled. Yu Qingxuan was staring at Long Chen blankly and didn't say anything for a long time. This figure was deeply imprinted in her mind. Do you know? My devil race wasn't originally evil. It was the same as your human race. The majority of the time, it was kind. But when the devil race produced one expert, after he became the devil race's conviction, the devil race's desires limitlessly grew and inflated. In the end, it devoured our intelligence, and all the devil race's people became slaves to their desires. They lost their minds and their rationality. As a result, they could only act according to instinct, devouring other life forms to live. Do you know why my devil race became like this? Asked the winged devil. Long Chen shook his head. He suddenly thought that this expert before him was extraordinary. The devil expert indicated for him to sit down. He then poured more wine for Long Chen and said, Because in the immemorial era, the devil race was the strongest, the leader of the ten thousand races. At that time, the devil race produced a supreme expert, the devil master. His appearance brought the devil race to unprecedented glory, but he also led the devil race down a path of no return. My winged devil race was originally the emperor race of the devil race, but now we've become walking corpses, becoming pawns used by others. I say all these things to you to impress upon you one point. What is it? Asked Long Chen. If one day your human race becomes the overlord of the world, then the devil race's path will become your future. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. After a long time, he nodded. That truly is possible. Human desires are also limitless. When there are no enemies inhibiting us, when we lose our sense of respect, we become unbridled, willing to do anything. However, I want to know, did the devil race sink to this level solely due to that person called the devil master? The devil expert shook his head. This matter implicates too much, so it cannot be said. Today, junior brother can count as a kindred spirit. Neither of us is a good person, so I merely wish to give you a warning. As for the devil master, as long as junior brother does not fall, 
you will sooner or later understand what kind of existence he was. We have destiny tying us together, and while I have nothing else to give you, you can have this little bit of wine. Please don't refuse. The devil expert gave Long Chen hundreds of jugs of wine. So Long Chen hastily thanked him. He and Yu Qingxuan then left. This time Long Chen didn't continue onward. He brought Yu Qingxuan away, out of the wine god palace. Long Chen had just left the wine god palace. Deep within the wine god palace, there was a location that on the martial heaven continent would have been the residence of the high priest. There was an elder here as well. He wore white robes, and his hair was also white. He looked to have become a transcendent immortal, untouched by the dust of the mortal world. I priest. Just then, the winged devil expert appeared and bowed to this elder. Surprisingly, this elder was also a high priest. The high priest then looked at the winged devil expert and asked, How was it? I'm ashamed. Long Chen's heart devil is too strong to be rattled. Forgive this disciple for his powerlessness, said the devil expert. The high priest shook his head. Even with your power, you are unable to shake his heart devil. Then the others have no chance at all. When Long Chen entered the wine god palace, the wine god's statue sensed it. That proves that he is the one that the wine god prophesied. Seeing him entangled by a heart devil, I thought that this was the guidance of the wine god, and that I was to help him. But even you were powerless. It seems that I misinterpreted the wine god's will. Long Chen has left now. Who knows what kind of additional variables will join the equation? The devil expert said, Disciple gave him wine that contains the laws of the devil world. It can help him control his heart devil, inhibiting its growth. This way, the ghost sovereign mark will not be activated so soon. Furthermore, Disciple even mentioned the devil master in hopes of disturbing the lines of fate. Hopefully, the ghost sovereign will not make his move on Long Chen so early. The high priest nodded. You did very well. Throwing karma into chaos will help him conceal himself. The wine god has not passed down an imperial edict in so long, and the palace master has also been silent. For the person that the wine god prophesied to appear now, it seems that something major is about to occur. The high priest extended his hand. His fingers moved slightly as if he was counting or calculating something. But in the end, he didn't dare to finish calculating it. He slowly lowered his hand. The moment that he put down his hand, his entire palm suddenly withered. I priest, the devil expert cried out. What powerful karma! Not even touching it is acceptable. If I truly tried to calculate it, I might have lost my life. It seems that the heavenly Daos are about to completely change. The high priest looked at the empty air somewhat gravely. If Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan left the wine god palace. Seeing that Long Chen seemed to have suffered a blow, Yu Qingxuan took the initiative to talk to him, comforting him. When Long Chen became a devil and appeared in front of her, she wasn't afraid. Her heart actually felt particularly warm. Long Chen smiled. I'm fine. Let them wait. Once my cultivation base soars, I'll carry out a massacre of the wine god palace. All their wines will be mine. Seeing that Long Chen had returned to normal, Yu Qingxuan relaxed. She suddenly thought of something. Long Chen, did you come to the Dragon Blaze Prefecture for the Heavenly Flame Spirits as well? The Heavenly Flame Spirits. Long Chen was startled. Novelun, come. Chapter 3520. To seeing that Long Chen was surprised, Yu Qingxuan curiously asked, You didn't come here for the Heavenly Flame Spirits. I came here for you. Nonsense. Yu Qingxuan's face reddened slightly. Hee hee, that was a joke. I saw many people coming in this direction, so I felt like something major might be happening. 
I just came to take a look and didn't expect to see you. After encountering you, I've run into one stroke of good luck after another. Oh, that's right. I already said that we have to split our spoils fifty-fifty. Let's divvy up the loot. Long Chen took out the wines. We are not alone. Come find us on Google. No, no. The wine god palace's seniors gave the wines to you. Furthermore, that spirit race senior already gave me some wine. I'm already very satisfied. Yu Qingxuan hastily refused. Long Chen had fought with his wits against the masters of the wine god palace, and adding on his shameless face, he managed to con out these wines. She couldn't possibly take advantage of him. Long Chen persevered, trying to split the wines with her, but she shook her head the entire time. Long Chen didn't force her. He just picked out a few dozen of the fine wines that suited her the most. There were a total of a hundred jugs. Yu Qingxuan still tried to refuse, but Long Chen hardened his face. If you don't take it, that's looking down on me. Only once she took it did Long Chen smile. He seemed just like a happy young man with any scheming ability. Infected by him, Yu Qingxuan also felt very happy. You mentioned heavenly flame spirits. What are those? Why have they drawn so many flame element experts? Asked Long Chen after splitting the loot. The heavenly flame spirits will periodically appear in the heavenly flame world inside of the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. Furthermore, this time it is special. The heavenly flame world descends upon the Dragon Blaze Prefecture once every 36,000 years, and the heavenly flame world contains heavenly flame spirits. They are terrible spirits of heaven and earth that desire to destroy the world. Every time the heavenly flame world descends, it is a tribulation. However, later on, people found that those wicked heavenly flame spirits were actually a great opportunity to flame cultivators. If they are subdued, they can purify your flame energy. Last time, you gave me the heavenly rainbow flame, but although it is my life's flame, it requires a great deal of energy for me to merge with it. Just relying on myself, it would be impossible to accomplish it without a hundred years of cultivation. But if I can subdue enough heavenly flame spirits, it will be possible to resolve that. What is your core flame? Asked you, King Shuin. Nah, I still don't have a core flame said Long Chen after a moment of stunned silence. He truly didn't have a core flame, nor did he need one. He had Huo Linger. Long Chen, you don't even have a core flame, but Yu Qingxuan didn't know what to say. I don't have a core flame, but that doesn't mean that I don't have a powerful flame. It's just that my cultivation style is different from yours. Let me tell you a secret. I have a flame that is even more powerful than the heavenly rainbow flame, whispered Long Chen, looking around to make sure that no one else was around to hear it. Yu Qingxuan laughed. You're lying. She thought that Long Chen was afraid that she would have a guilty conscience, which caused him to lie. She didn't realize that he was telling the truth. Seeing the emotion deep in Yu Qingxuan's eyes, Long Chen wasn't in a rush to prove himself. He had to leave a deep enough impression in Yu Qingxuan's heart first so that she wasn't swindled away by others. In order to make Yu Qingxuan happy, he constantly cajoled her, telling her jokes that made her laugh. Her mood soon improved. Seeing her smiling like a blooming flower, Long Chen swore to himself that he would protect her forever. He would make sure that this smile remained on her face eternally. He wouldn't let her suffer the slightest grievance again. Let's go back to the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. Otherwise, those two elders will get worried, said Yu Qingxuan. After forming hand seals, a war chariot decked in dazzling gold and jade appeared. Oh wow, so this war chariot was yours? Long Chen's jaw dropped. This was the war chariot that had drawn his attention back then, the world domain war chariot. 
You recognize this war chariot? Asked to you, King Shuin. No, I don't recognize this war chariot, but I recognize its master, laughed Long Chen. You, King Shuin, laughed. This war chariot was something that my master used in his youth. After I obtained the heavenly rainbow flame, he gifted it to me as a reward. Let's get on. He he, then I'll definitely have to enjoy this ride. After all, a portion of this reward should be thanks to me. Long Chen laughed and stepped into the war chariot. Yu King Shuin knew that Long Chen was saying that on purpose. She was getting used to Long Chen's humorous way of talking. Damn, this really is luxurious. Long Chen was stunned. This war chariot had several parts, all made out of materials for world domain divine items. Even the seats, tea table, carpets, and the rest were covered in runes. This war chariot was essentially a mobile fortress. Although Long Chen had strengthened the Seventh Branch Academy to the greatest level, looking at this war chariot, he found that only the owner of this chariot had the right to brag. Every part of the war chariot had runes carved into it. Once those runes were all activated, it would be a supremely terrifying killing item. Seeing Long Chen's shock, even Yu Qingxuan, who was normally indifferent to such a thing, felt a trace of pride. As the war chariot shot through the air, there wasn't the slightest sound of it piercing through space, nor were there the slightest shaking or jolts. Seeing the scenery rapidly falling into the rear, Long Chen was amazed. Long Chen, this time, let's go together into the heavenly flame world, said Yu Qingxuan. Seeing Long Chen stare at her blankly, Yu Qingxuan blushed and said, I just meant that we can gather the heavenly flame spirits together, looking after each other. Either way is fine, said Long Chen with a smile. The double meaning of his words made her blush even harder. Long Chen looked at Yu Qingxuan and said, If you're with me, I hope that you can relax slightly. I have no crazy demands for you. I just hope that you can be happy. I don't want you to feel any pressure because I will never ask you to repay anything. Wei, why do you treat me so well? Yu Qingxuan saw Long Chen's sincerity. She then thought of how Long Chen had appeared to protect her in front of the winged devil race expert. As a result, her heart warmed. Because I owe you. I owe you far too much. I can spend several lifetimes trying, but I'll never be able to fully repay you, said Long Chen. Why do you say such a thing? asked Yu King Shuin. She clearly didn't have memories of her former life. Whatever I say, it won't matter. Just tell me, do you trust me? asked Long Chen. Yu King Shuin nodded. Although I still don't understand you, I know that you won't harm me. Long Chen smiled. Then that's enough. Yu Qingxuan's answer was the greatest acknowledgement he could obtain. Hence, Long Chen felt energy filling him. When Yu Qingxuan's war chariot descended upon the Dragon Blaze Prefecture and the two of them came out, Long Chen instantly sensed countless pairs of eyes filled with killing intent staring at him. Looking at those gazes, Long Chen smiled. Chapter 3523 You have an enmity with the Soaring Dragon Company. Yu King Shuin put away the war chariot and looked at those people that were glaring at Long Chen in front of the city gates. From their robes, she could tell their status. No, no enmity. We're of the same profession. Perhaps we end up with some clashes as we conduct our business, said Long Chen, shaking his head like a rattle. You do business. Asked Yu Qingxuan with disbelief. Even now, she didn't know what Long Chen did. Did he have a collaboration with the Soaring Dragon Company? Yes, I suppose. We're all just doing business. Then con others, and I loot what they con. It should be said to be mutually beneficial, said Long Chen. You dare to take the Soaring Dragon Company's things? Yu Qingxuan was shocked and covered her mouth, staring at him in disbelief. Didn't I tell you? Alchemy is my side occupation, 
and my main occupation is looting, said Long Chen solemnly. Back then, she had thought that he was just spouting nonsense. Now that he repeated it, she didn't quite know what to believe. Long Chen, you really did come here. Will you let yourself be captured, or do you need us to do it? Four Third Heaven State World Kings stepped forward, surrounding Long Chen as soon as he appeared. Those four Third Heaven Stage World Kings unleashed their powerful auras, instantly drawing countless people's attention. Long Chen lazily looked at them and indifferently said, There's no need to wonder if I let myself be captured. If you want to, go ahead and make your move. Long Chen, if you really have guts, then leave the Dragon Blaze Prefecture and have a fair fight with us, shouted one of the World Kings. Clearly, they didn't dare to fight in this place. They didn't dare to offend the city lord. A fair fight. Long Chen wasn't the only one who laughed. Countless people who came to see the disturbance also laughed when they heard that four third heaven stage world kings were demanding a fair fight with an early stage divine lord. Although the Soaring Dragon Company did possess a certain level of prestige in this Dragon Blaze prefecture, there were ten thousand races standing tall and multiple major powers. People were afraid of the Soaring Dragon Company. They might not be a friend of Long Chen's, but hearing a World King challenge a Divine Lord to a fair fight, they wondered if that World King's head was still all right. Even you, King Shuin, laughed. This person truly was amusing. He talked without using his head. That world king also sensed that he had misspoken, but he couldn't take his words back. His face burned. Long Chen, the Soaring Dragon Company, is powerful. It's not good to provoke them. Why don't I use my status as a member of the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect to ask the elders to mediate things for you? If you return what you took, wouldn't it be good for everyone? whispered Yu Qingxuan. This was for Long Chen's own good. It had to be known that the Soaring Dragon Company was extremely wealthy. Offending them was not something to do for fun. Thank you, but there can be no mediation between us. You have to know, this world has no reasonless love and no causeless hate. Can you trust me? Long Chen looked at Yu Qingxuan. Yu Qingxuan smiled. I, of course, trust you. Then that's good. Let me handle this matter. Don't worry about me. Oh, your two elders have come. Long Chen just happened to see Yu Qingxuan's guards appear. The two of them immediately came over to Yu Qingxuan's side. After that, they became like statues just standing there with their eyes closed. Long Chen, as the Dark Light Heaven's High Firmament Academy's youngest Heaven Master and the youngest Branch Academy's Dean, you are actually willing to hide like a little tortoise in its shell. The face of the most ancient Academy in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands has been lost by you. If someone else was in your position, they would have long since killed themselves out of shame. As the first elder of the Soaring Dragon Company had misspoken, his companion immediately helped him out. Support us at Navalum come as a result. His words shook countless people. They stared at Long Chen in disbelief. Even some experts of other races looked at Long Chen with stunned expressions. Many people were fond of remembering the number one, the best. As for the High Firmament Academy, it was the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands number one academy. Although it had declined, its name was known to countless people. This was simply common sense. If you went out into the world without knowing anything at all, then perhaps it would be fine if you were from other races. But if you were from the human race and still didn't know anything, you would definitely be laughed at. Within the ancient city, countless heads stuck out, looking toward the city gates. Amongst them were Feng Xiang, Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others. They were stunned to hear that Long Chen was a dean of the number one academy. How can that be? Long Chen was so young. Whether it was in terms of cultivation base, experience, or ability, 
how could he hold the position of dean even if it was just the dean of a branch academy that wasn't possible no yu king shuin was even more shocked at this time she thought of how long chen had said that he had conned a dean into making him a heaven master she had always thought that he had been joking so it was the truth and it was even in the world's number one academy news spreads quickly you obtained my information so quickly but so what i'm not in the dark light heaven here i'm no longer the dean of the high firmament academy this provocation of yours is meaningless against me those so-called halos of light are unable to bind me in the violet flame heaven i have no halos i am by myself and have nothing else so what are you going to do now said long chen disdainfully long chen you massacred innocent people selling your soul for profit not caring about morality after killing people for their treasures you actually tried to blame my soaring dragon company you are absolutely vile a shameless person like you should simply be hunted down and executed by all the heroes of the land my soaring dragon company has raised the bounty on you to one billion immortal king crystals a world domain divine item and making your killer the highest level vip of the soaring dragon company whoever cuts off your head will gain fame and wealth in one move in addition to removing a scourge from this world let me see just how long you can keep smiling sneered one of the world kings countless people gasped at that extravagant bounty that would definitely draw countless experts against long chen in their eyes long chen was no longer a human he was a moving pile of cash as for those with hostility toward him for example zhao mingxuan wu yang and the others their eyes all brightened they weren't lacking money but they were lacking an excuse to kill long chen now they smiled it wasn't just them countless experts turned their gazes to long chen and some were already using their divine sense to investigate his fluctuations it was extremely provoking using others to kill me that's fine i long chen will accept all challengers furthermore in order to let everyone be at ease let me say that there are no misgivings i hereby announce to everyone here that this beautiful fairy king Shuin beside me is just an ordinary friend do not implicate her because of me announced long chen don't pretend to be so loved someone about to die should think more about themselves chapter three thousand five hundred twenty four zhao mingxuan was the one who spoke so disdainfully he appeared in the air and looked down on long chen i found you displeasing from the start now i finally have a reason to kill you clearly he didn't care what kind of grievance there was between long chen and the soaring dragon company he didn't care who was right and who was wrong even if the soaring dragon company was framing long chen it didn't matter he just needed an excuse the cultivation world was just that rough and cruel it just so happens that i also find you displeasing the day you attack me is the day your head falls to the ground said long chen indifferently zhao mingxuan was definitely the one that long chen detested the most out of all of them it was because he had dragged long chen's father and mother into their argument if it weren't for yu kingxuan being present at the time long chen would have killed him regardless of the rules now this hateful fellow had actually jumped out of his own accord long chen also decided to definitely kill him it just so happened that he needed an opportunity hopefully brother mingxuan can give me face and leave him to me i hate him far more than you don't you think wu yang also stepped forward sorry i really can't concede when it comes to this how about after i kill him by split his corpse in half for you said zhao mingxuan with a smile what use is half am i going to use it for stew whatever but brother mingxuan i won't let him off at that time whoever kills him will get the whole thing said wu yang laughing 
Yu Qingxuan's expression sank. These people were going too far. They were absolutely despicable, treating Long Chen as prey. Other than Wu Yang and Zhao Mingxuan, all the others besides Feng Xiang came out. They all glared at Long Chen coldly, not bothering to conceal their killing intent in the slightest. Yu Qingxuan was about to speak when Long Chen said, You don't need to persuade them. They won't listen. I'm going to go into seclusion for a few days to sharpen my saber. Once the heavenly flame world opens, I will definitely slaughter all these ignorant animals to scare off the foolish monkeys. Long Chen waved goodbye to Yu Qingxuan. It was not good for him to stay by her side right now. One reason was because people were constantly provoking him, making her angry. Many of them might even say that he was getting close to Yu Qingxuan for other motives. He didn't want to bring Yu Qingxuan any trouble, not even the tiniest bit. He didn't want to draw her into his battle. Yu Qingxuan had told him that the heavenly flame world would descend around a month from now. Hence, he wanted to use this time to raise his cultivation base. Previously, he hadn't dared to increase his realm too quickly. But now he had the assistance of the wine god Palace's wine. When the power of the wine and pills was merged, he wouldn't need to have so many misgivings. All right. I'll be staying temporarily at the city lord mansion. If you need anything, remember to come find me. I will definitely help you, implored Yu Qingxuan. Long Chen nodded. He then smiled at Yu Qingxuan and walked off to the city's western part. That was where the Huayan Trading Company's branch was. Countless people smiled sinisterly at Long Chen as he walked away. It seemed that they all viewed him as prey. Some people even directly challenged him to life and death battles, but Long Chen ignored them. His silence only caused people to grow more arrogant. They even began to hurl verbal abuses at him. Long Chen couldn't help frowning. Without being aware of it, his fists were already clenched tightly beneath his sleeves. Killing intent brewed within his heart. However, in the end, he managed to endure. Attacking right now wouldn't resolve any problems. Even if he killed a few people, it would only expose his own power. It wasn't worth it. Furthermore, if he did, he would only be falling for the Soaring Dragon Company's trap. TCH, these suicidal fools wanted to die so badly. Then Boss Long San would make sure that their wish was achieved. He originally didn't want to fight with people but some people always wanted to climb over his body. Since they didn't know respect, they couldn't blame him for being merciless. After a while, Long Chen found the Huayan Trading Company. In order to find some peace, he was preparing to have the Huayan Trading Company find a place for him to enter seclusion. What he hadn't expected was for someone from the City Lord Mansion to come invite him, saying that they wished to offer him a training room for his seclusion. That startled Long Chen. Was the city Lord Mansion not the Feng families? What was going on? But in the end, Long Chen still refused. Ignoring whatever intention the city Lord Mansion had, he didn't want to disturb Yu Qingxuan during this time. Yu Qingxuan had also said that this fight for the heavenly flame spirits would be fierce, so everyone was in seclusion to enter their peak conditions. Once the heavenly flame world descended, countless monsters that had been lying in the dark would appear. The flame element heavenly geniuses of the various races would appear. They couldn't possibly let go of this chance that only appeared once every 36,000 years. Even the dark world's experts would appear. The various monsters of the six Daos would appear. Some heavenly geniuses even sealed themselves for thousands of years just to wait for this opening of the heavenly flame world. Even with Yu Qingxuan's special status, even if she was guarded by two terrifying experts, she still had to be cautious. The dark world's experts viewed the immortal world's life forms as enemies. They wouldn't care about status. 
thus this time there would definitely be a storm of blood the heavenly flame world would become a ruthless fighting ring it was unknown how many people would be leaving their dead bodies inside for eternity never capable of leaving however for the heavenly flame spirits those people were willing to throw their lives away the heavenly flame spirits could completely change a person's fate cultivators weren't afraid of dying but they were afraid of being surpassed by others thus even if the soaring dragon company hadn't come this time long chen and yu kingshuan would still have to go into seclusion to prepare for the heavenly flame world it was simply at this incident caused the two of them to split up and go into seclusion having denied the city lord mansion's invitation long chen went into seclusion in the huayan trading company this made him feel a bit more at peace if within the city lord mansion the city lord was looking out at the scenery outside the window he was silent this novel is available on novel loon come as for his son feng zhang he was quietly standing behind him he had waited half an incensed stick's worth of time but his father had not said anything father did you need me for something feng zhang asked i told you to go invite long chin did you go said the city lord indifferently not even looking back i sent someone to invite him but he didn't come answered feng zhang I told you to go, not to send others to go. Zhang Er, you really disappoint me. The city lord sighed. Father, I don't understand. Why do you care so much about that little fellow? In order to accomplish your mission, do you know how Wu Yang and Zhao Mingxuan look at me now? I no longer have the slightest face in front of them. While they are targeting Long Chen, you want me to personally go to Long Chen's door and invite him. How am I supposed to live afterward? Feng Zhang's expression was a bit unsightly. He felt very resentful inside. Fine. You really are beyond cure. The city lord finally turned to look at Feng Zhang and shook his head. Pass down my orders. Starting today, Feng Ling is the future city lord. Upon hearing this, Feng Zhang's expression became exceedingly ugly. He was enraged. Why are you doing this? Suddenly, the city lord's hand caught Feng Zhang's throat, and a sharp killing intent instantly enveloped Feng Zhang. Chapter 3525 The Aura of Feng Zhang's Father Erupted. In front of him, Feng Zhang was as tiny as an ant. The latter didn't even dare to move. He could only stare in shock and terror at his father. His father looked at him coldly. If you weren't my son, I would kill you right now. You fool, twice you didn't understand my intentions. I sacrificed my face to give you an opportunity, and you wasted it. You treated it as nothing more than wind blowing past your ear. Do you know that these two opportunities were for you to form a good relationship with Long Chen? You failed twice, so how could I entrust the Dragon Blaze Prefecture to a fool like you? How could I leave the Feng family to you? If you continued offending Long Chen, let alone you, even the entire Feng family would be dragged in. Feng Xiang stared at his father in shock. Although Long Chen seemed a bit different from others, he had never displayed his true power. Furthermore, he didn't give off much pressure. As a result, Feng Zhang had never felt him to be very powerful. Long Chen looked like someone who relied on his face and mouth to con others. Hence, Feng Zhang hadn't expected his father, a grand seventh heaven stage world king, to be so afraid of Long Chen. I told you to read more, study more, but you just kept hanging out with a group of scoundrels. The way you brag and laud each other makes me turn red just by hearing it. Do you know the history of the High Firmament Academy? Do you know why the High Firmament Academy declined? Do you know why the High Firmament Academy is now down to only their main academy when their branches were once spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands? Do you know what it signifies for Long Chen 
to be the youngest dean of the High Firmament Academy. Do you know who the High Firmament Academy's opponent is? You don't know anything. Yet you think yourself infallible. You are so foolish that no medicine can cure you. After today, I will tell everyone that you have been stripped of your status as the son of the city lord. You are now expelled from the Feng family. Starting today, all of your actions have nothing to do with my Feng family, said the city lord coldly. Father, Feng Zhang was struck dumb. He hadn't expected his father to be so ruthless. He actually expelled him from the Feng family. Feng Zhang then fell to the ground as if he had lost all his bones. Looking at his father, he felt like he was in a nightmare. He didn't dare to believe this. Do you see? After you lose your status as the son of the city lord, you are nothing, let alone going to other star fields, even within the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. Without the protection of the city lord mansion, you might end up a random corpse on the street at any time. Long Chen was someone who dared to cross heavens to come here. He dared to become enemies with the powerful trading company, even plundering and killing their experts. Do you dare? All you do is rely on the city lord mansion's prestige to abuse others. Do you think that I am a blind person who can't see all of that? How many times have I subtly warned you? But you just continue acting the same barely even trying to cover up your actions. Do you take me for a fool? What I could give you, I can also take away from you. Don't you think yourself is very powerful, very amazing? Fine, then your chance has come. You've abused quite a few people. Now that you've lost your position as the son of the city lord, let me see just how long you can survive, said the city lord. Father, Zhang Er knows his mistakes. Father, please, give me another chance, pleaded Feng Zhang, truly afraid. I didn't give you just one chance, but unfortunately you didn't appreciate it. Scram. Someone come and toss Feng Zhang out. Starting today, he has no connection to my city lord mansion. Two world kings immediately appeared. They looked at Feng Zhang sympathetically. Feng Zhang, let's go. They had previously always called him young lord. Now that he was not the son of the city lord, even the way they called him changed. Father, please, don't abandon me. I am your son. Feng Zhang cried out and cowed out so hard that his forehead bled. Although he was bleeding, it was nothing more than a trick. With his cultivation base, this was clearly intentional to soften his father's heart. Regretfully, his father didn't even look at him. Feng Zhang was then dragged out. However, just as he was about to be thrown out, his father's voice coldly rang out. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. If you are still alive in three years, I will consider letting you rejoin the Feng family. If you do die, it has nothing to do with anyone. Many thanks, father. Many thanks. Feng Xiang was delighted, but that delight quickly faded. The city lord mansion issued a public proclamation of this news. As a result, countless people were shocked, not knowing what had happened. Everywhere within the city, Feng Xiang was a hot topic. Wherever he went, people stared at him oddly. Those people that were normally respectful when they saw him were now staring at him differently. Although it wasn't very exaggerated, it was still incredibly clear to Feng Zhang that they were delighting in his misfortune. Feng Zhang clenched his teeth and vanished from the streets. Within the city lord mansion, a beautiful woman watched Feng Zhang vanish, and she sighed. Aren't you being too cruel to Feng Zhang? No. I am giving him his last chance. If he still doesn't properly cherish it, then there is no saving him, said the city lord. This woman was Fang Zhang's mother. Are you really so afraid of that long chen? She asked. The city lord looked at her coldly. A mother really can't see so far when it comes to their children. Shut your mouth. 
If Feng Xiang was allowed to continue acting this way, then after the opening of the Heavenly Flame world, there might not be a Feng family any longer. If you're not afraid, you can scram with your son. I won't stop you. Yun, her expression sank. After that, she stormed off. I hereby announce that during this time, it is forbidden for anyone in the Feng family to have any dealings with Feng Xiang. Anyone who breaks this rule will be expelled from the Feng family. Remember, this includes everyone, shouted the city lord. Yes, the city lord stood atop the mansion by himself, overlooking the giant prefecture city. His expression was solemn. After a bit, he took out a jade tablet. Runes flowed on top of the jade, and they condensed into the shape of a dragon. From the city lord mansion, the entire dragon blaze prefecture looked like a coiling dragon. But the dragon on the jade was starting to change slightly. There were some differences. Ever since Long Chen arrived, the feng shui of the dragon blaze prefecture has started changing. It is fluctuating intensely. This is a moment of life and death and no one can predict what will happen. One mistake and it will be an irrecoverable calamity. The city lord sighed as he looked at the jade. The position of the city lord mansion was precisely on the head of the dragon. Time passed bit by bit. The dragon blaze prefecture grew increasingly lively as more and more life forms entered the city. However, countless bizarre life forms also appeared outside of the city. Many of them possessed strange auras. They clearly weren't life forms of the immortal world. After a month, in the west of the Dragon Blaze Prefecture, a crack suddenly appeared in the void. When that crack appeared, countless experts came out of seclusion. The heavenly flame world is about to descend. Countless eyes lying in the dark instantly opened. Chapter 3526 Boom Suddenly, the void exploded and a giant figure appeared in the sky. It was a three-foot golden crow that had spread its wings, covering heaven and earth. It was like a blazing sun illuminating the heavens. Ha ha ha, the heavenly flame world is about to open. All the heavenly flame spirits are mine. My golden crow race will once more climb to the peak of the ten thousand races, Wu Yang's voice rang out. He then transformed into a giant golden crow, flames burning around his body, giving off shocking pressure. The three-foot golden crow was said to be the son of the sun, so his manifestation was precisely a blazing sun. Also, the golden crow flame was ranked 17th of the heavenly flame rankings. It was also one of the extremely rare heavenly flames that could be passed down. The Golden Crow Flame was also called the Sun Flame by the Golden Crow race. However, in reality, it wasn't the Sun Flame because the Sun Flame was ranked sixth on the Heavenly Flame rankings. However, there was a definite connection between the two of them. The Golden Crow Flame could constantly grow as it was cultivated. The manifestation would also go from one sun to nine suns. That was the acquired Sun Flame. The sun flame could be split between acquired and innate. The acquired one referred to one that was cultivated to that level. But an innate one was born from heaven and earth, a flame that only appeared at great historic moments. The innate sun flame was something that only existed in legends. There weren't many records throughout history about it. On the other hand, the acquired sun flame had appeared many times throughout history and all those that had acquired sun flames came from the Golden Crow race. Wu Yang had also been in seclusion all this time. As soon as he came out, he displayed his true body, and three blazing suns burned behind him. His aura was astonishing, shaking countless experts. Long Chen, have you washed your neck? Wu Yang spread his wings and shouted loudly, We are Navaloon, come find us on Google. As flames filled the heavens, a hole was incinerated in the world. After that, Zhao Mingxuan's figure appeared within those flames. Navalun come behind him was a palace that was like a burning oven. 
all the flame runes of heaven and earth gathered around him wu yang you are snatching my business i already said that long chen's life is mine you are not being sincere laughed zhao mingxuan the legends are true the raging flame heavenly palaces zhao mingxuan controls the rank thirteen heavenly flame the heaven burning divine flame it can burn the void and pierce holes in the walls between worlds when they saw zhao mingxuan's flame burning even the void everyone was shocked this flame was absolutely terrifying as more and more experts came out of seclusion all the experts that had been in the fallen immortal pavilion with long chen appeared showing off their own flames they were all famous existences on the heavenly flame rankings this long chen is doomed with so many people targeting him even if they just spit some saliva on him they'll still drown him seeing so many people come out of seclusion and challenge long chen they all felt like long chen was doomed if it was someone else they probably wouldn't even have the courage to leave the city with so many people targeting them however people felt like long chen was no random character the youngest dean of the number one academy of the nine heavens and ten lands couldn't be ordinary someone who dared to plunder the soaring dragon company definitely couldn't be a nobody hence everyone wished to see how long chen would react to these people regretfully long chen still wasn't responding feng yang also appeared but his appearance didn't cause a single ripple although he also controlled a heavenly flame no one looked at him wu yang zhao mingxuan and the others didn't even look at him back then when he took the initiative to speak to long chen they already started to look down on him now feng ziang was stripped of his status as the son of the city lord these people actually thought that the city lord was also turning his back on him as he had lost his face by talking to long chen causing the city lord to throw him away before this they called each other brothers but since feng ziang had lost his special status they felt that feng ziang had also lost his qualifications to stand alongside them yu kingxuan also came out and the first thing she did was ask about long chen but hearing that he had yet to come out of seclusion she couldn't help feeling a bit worried she was also extremely dissatisfied with wu yang zhao mingxuan and the others provocations toward him although long chen hadn't explained his grievance with the soaring dragon company she trusted that there must be a good reason long chen had to have his reasons as for wu yang zhao mingxuan and the others now they pretended to be on the side of justice and found an excuse to kill long chen she was very angry this was the pinnacle of shamelessness the thing that worried her the most was that long chen had just entered the divine lord realm but wu yang and the others were already late stage divine lords long chen was at an immense disadvantage in terms of realm despite not knowing him for a long time she sensed that while he acted humble he was actually very prideful inside if she came out to help him while these people might not dare to do anything to long chen she was worried about harming long chen's ego she just wanted to help him but couldn't do anything one day two days three days passed the crack in the void grew larger and larger and raging flames spurted out of it countless experts had already run over to that crack and started absorbing that flame energy the flames that came out of the cracks might be looked down upon by the supreme experts but to ordinary cultivators it was already considered something good furthermore as time passed the flame energy grew stronger if they didn't get a good spot at the start all the good spots would be taken by others the majority of the dragon blaze prefecture's experts ran over to the spatial crack and began absorbing its flame energy as for wu yang zhao mingxuan and the other heavenly geniuses they also came early not to absorb that flame energy but to be in a good spot when the time came other than that 
They wanted to wait for Long Chen here. They were planning on eliminating him here without even giving him a chance to enter the heavenly flame world. However, after waiting and waiting, their expressions started to grow solemn. That was because life forms from various races had appeared. They didn't even recognize some of those life forms, and some of these life forms had auras that made their hearts pound. There were also some life forms from unclear origins wearing cloaks and masks, concealing their auras. But they gave off a very sinister feeling. People assumed that they were likely from the dark world. The chaotic star sea was a world of chaos, and there were many places with connections to other worlds. Experts from other worlds would enter the chaotic star sea. Of course, some experts from the chaotic star sea would sneak into their worlds as well. Thus, this was truly a land of chaos. Furthermore, there were many areas of the chaotic star sea led by life forms from different races. Many places were forbidden for the human race to set foot in. Even the native experts of the chaotic star sea had not gone to most of the places in the chaotic star sea because it was simply too dangerous. When these life forms of unknown origin appeared, many people's hearts shook. They instantly grew more cautious. On this day, the spatial cracks suddenly rapidly widened, forming a giant spatial gate. Everyone grew excited. This signified that the heavenly rainbow world was about to open. Fairy Kingshuan has come. People recognized Yu Kingshuan's war chariot. Long Chen has also come. Another cry rang out. People finally spotted Long Chen's giant Minghong saber. Chapter 3527 Long Chen arrived, still wearing the same black robes and carrying the Minghong saber on his back. Countless people's gazes were on him. His appearance startled quite a few people because they assumed that Long Chen had stealthily fled. After all, he was being targeted by so many terrifying experts. If Long Chen didn't want to die, then he would definitely run. Now that he had appeared, they were shocked by his guts and started to admire him. Whether or not he could leave the heavenly flame world in one piece, that arrogance of his had definitely given people a newfound level of respect for him. Wu Yang, Zhao Mingxuan, and a few others smiled cruelly when they saw him. They already viewed him as prey. Interesting. In one month, you forcibly raised your cultivation base from the first heaven stage of the Divine Lord realm to the fourth heaven stage. To rise three realms in one month is truly surprising. But even so, Long Chen, you can't escape your fate of being slaughtered today, sneered Zhao Mingxuan. Amongst the rest of them, even the weakest cultivation base, was someone at the seventh heaven stage. As for Zhao Mingxuan, he was at the ninth heaven stage. He could completely suppress Long Chen in terms of realm. Long Chen ignored Zhao Mingxuan. It was like he didn't see any of them and he looked at Yu Qingxuan, who appeared at the same time as him. The two of them exchanged a smile. In a month, you managed to rise three realms. That's amazing. Yu Qingxuan was pleasantly surprised to see Long Chen's cultivation base. His aura was vast like a sea and exceptionally steady. There were no signs of it being hollow or unstable. It had to be known that the Divine Lord realm was comparatively slow in progress. To rise three realms in just a month would be like plucking out sprouts to make them grow taller. It would definitely cause an unstable foundation. However, there were no signs of such a thing in Long Chen's aura. That made Yu Qingxuan click her tongue in wonder. She was happy for him. The wine of the wine god palace isn't famous for nothing. That senior with the ruler Kai in particular, his wine is especially miraculous, said Long Chen with a smile. Long Chen had combined medicinal pills and wine during this time. With the two of them helping each other, with the right arrangement, it was possible to draw out each other's potential and increase both of their effects. Furthermore, since he was in the early stage of the realm, his progression was naturally faster. 
if it weren't for the fact that advancing to the divine lord realm had caused his body to change immensely causing him to need to stabilize it first he could have long since reached the late stage by crazily consuming medicinal pills now his body had essentially stabilized with the help of the wine god palace's wine in truth he had advanced to the fourth heaven stage seven days ago however he didn't continue advancing once his cultivation base rose to the fourth heaven sage, the astral power of his 108,000 stars explosively grew. During this time, Long Chen had also been consuming violet tower pills. As a result, the Alif star had become completely violet. Moreover, the star clouds around his 108,000 stars were denser, and their violet chi was more solid. From outside, Long Chen's danshan appeared to be a star sea. The violet kai was like auspicious clouds floating between the stars, containing a mysterious energy. When the violet kai entered his stars, Long Chen understood just how powerful this star sea was. With the nourishment of the violet kai, these stars seemed to obtain new life. As they began to transform, every star became like the mouth of a spring, with power gushing out endlessly for Long Chen's use. As for the Violet Kai, it was precisely the key to activating these springs. Furthermore, this Violet Kai didn't just bring him divine flame energy, as it contained spiritual yuan as well, adding on his original stores of spiritual yuan that had explosively grown after advancing, he was no longer worried about running out of spiritual yuan. This time, when Yu King Shuan looked at Long Chen, she saw that his gaze was full of ease and confidence. Even against this endless army of experts, he was like a calm lake, with not even a ripple on the surface. That senior really is amazing. When this person was mentioned, Yu King Shuan nodded. That elder seemed to be from the same generation as her master. Hence, his origins were definitely frightening. Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan walked shoulder to shoulder, one in black robes and the other in a black dress, a handsome man and a beautiful woman. They were like a golden couple that had descended from the heavens. It was unknown just how many jealous gazes glared at the two of them at that moment. Fairy Qingxuan's name had long since spread throughout the violet flame heaven. Whether it was her background, her looks, or her talent, she was a peak heavenly chosen, someone who toppled over countless elites. Hence, for Long Chen to now be standing alongside her, laughing and talking while whispering secretly with her, many people almost had flames burst out of their eyes. Fairy King Shuan was said to be the blazing Nirasaki flower. The idea that this flower might land in someone's home was something countless people had daydreamed about. Countless handsome youngsters were pursuing her. Search Noveloon come for the original. However, while Yu King Shuan's character was warm, she was only politely courteous to everyone and had yet to get close to anyone. It was precisely due to this that those young men had kept their dreams, thinking that they still had a chance. Therefore, for Long Chen to suddenly appear and swirl away fairy King Shuan, who kept others at a polite distance, it was like he had bewitched her. They had never seen her talk and laugh with someone like this. Long Chen had essentially crushed the flame of hope in countless people's hearts. How could they not be enraged? The most infuriated man here was Xiao Mingxuan. He had directly threatened Long Chen, and the latter simply ignored him, treating him as nothing more than thin air. It was a silent insult, that was even harder to bear than a direct one. And yet, he couldn't directly turn against Long Chen because Long Chen was talking with Yu Qingxuan. If he interrupted him now, it would offend Yu Qingxuan. He wanted to kill Long Chen, but didn't want to offend Yu Qingxuan. This was all to keep a trace of that dream alive. Anyway, he also couldn't offend Yu Qingxuan's background. For Yu Qingxuan to arrive with Long Chen, she had essentially added another halo around Long Chen, making countless experts jealous, yet unable to express it. 
when they arrived at the heavenly flame world's gates long chen sensed countless sharp gazes filled with killing intent looking over he saw that it was a group of masked cloaked life forms long chen you killed millions and millions of members of my race your hands are dyed in their blood good i'm glad i got to meet you here one of those life forms slowly took off his mask when he took off his mask startled cries rang out expressions of terror appeared on countless people's faces he had bull horns on his head and eyes like golden lanterns when he spoke golden sparks flew out the laws of the heavenly dows actually began to twist around him moreover flames began to appear around his body after he took off his mask the temperature in the air instantly rose golden eyes the immemorial flame devil a startled cry rang out as someone recognized this life form it was a member of the devil race and it was one possessing an immemorial bloodline he actually didn't even wait for the gates to open instead showing his true face right outside as a result people stared in shock at long chen chapter three thousand five hundred twenty eight sorry i've killed countless life forms in my lifetime especially those from the devil race i really can't remember them all which race are you looking to avenge i feel like it's very funny whether it's in the mortal world or the immortal world it's your devil race that attacked my human race countless times if someone should be looking for revenge it should be me said long chen indifferently looking at that immemorial flame devil this lord will give you a chance to fight have a one against one fight against this lord to decide your life and death said that immemorial flame devil icily i don't mind as long as you want to die you can pick the time and place i will fulfill your wish long chen shrugged his enmity with the devil race was carved into his bones on the martial heaven continent he had witnessed countless innocent humans being slaughtered by the devil race those scenes could never be erased from his mind unacceptable unexpectedly zhao mingxuan actually spoke up for long chen long chen's life is mine i don't care what race you're from it means nothing in front of me you don't care about your life is that it that immemorial flame devil turned to zhao m Inkshuen, the golden light in his erupting he seemed like he might attack at any moment there's no need to argue here whatever enmities you have can be settled inside of the heavenly flame world no what's the point of arguing when you can't even fight here another life form spoke this was a greater demon with an astonishing blood kai and it was also a terrifying existence there really is no need fighting here is just showing off in front of others after a little scuffle both sides spit out some harsh words and that's it what's the point let us wait until we enter the heavenly flame world before people start throwing around words of life and death we can just see who is laughing in the end sneered someone else this place did not just have heavenly geniuses their various protectors were also here and it was unknown how many world kings were hidden among them if something unexpected happened here they would definitely interfere to protect their own race's disciples if the other side was too powerful they would just activate a transportation talisman then the old fellows of those major forces would also appear such a sight often occurred in past descents of the heavenly flame world when those old monsters appeared all they did was spit words at each other without actually fighting that was because all sides were restrained by everyone they wouldn't really fight however once they entered the heavenly flame world it would be different the outer region did permit world kings to enter but the deeper area was restricted by laws that only allowed divine lords to enter the heavenly flame spirits only appeared in the depths so that was where the real fighting would occur with no world kings to interfere life and death 
would be decided by each individual's true power. Furthermore, the depths of the heavenly flame world did not just have terrifying flame spirits that would cause carnage. The most terrifying thing was the fellow members of the same race who would kill each other just to get an advantage. Thus, the only person you could trust once you entered the heavenly flame world was yourself. That was a true lawless world. Although the heavenly geniuses here were all divine lords, not all of them were youngsters. Some of them were old monsters that had been sealed for many years. They also knew that there was no way a fight would occur here, so they couldn't even bother to pay attention to this argument. Hearing that, the immemorial flame devil sneered, Fine, I'll settle things with you in the heavenly flame world. This sneer was not just for Long Chen, but also the entire human race. Brother, if you need a help, just say the word. Suddenly, a large figure walked toward Long Chen. What shocked everyone was that it was an expert of the lava giant race. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon. Come, the lava giant race was also a spirit race and he actually stood by Long Chen's side. It had to be known that the lava giant race was an enormous race, and they were very protective of their own people. They weren't easy to provoke. Many thanks. But I feel like I can handle my own matters. I appreciate your kind intentions. Long Chen cupped his fists. No need to thank me. My lava giant race is also a member of the stone spirit race. You've helped the stone spirit race before, so you're a kind person. I am willing to help you, said the lava giant. Long Chan was startled. He suddenly thought of the heaven-merging stone spirit race's expert that he had released. Long Chen had even given him a name, Shi Tanshan. He hadn't expected the lava giant race to also be a part of the same race as the heaven-merging stone spirit race. Furthermore, this lava giant could actually tell that Long Chen had helped one of his people before. But Long Chen didn't want him to be drawn into his personal grievance. That was because just now, Long Chen had noticed quite a few races glaring at him with killing intent. They were unwilling to show their true selves at the moment, and it wasn't just the devil race. There was the blood race, the nether race, and others. In other words, he would be attacked from all sides once he entered the heavenly flame world. Although this expert's aura was very terrifying, Long Chen didn't wish for him to be affected. That lava giant was quite stubborn, though, directly saying that anyone who wanted to make things hard for Long Chen would have to face him first. That gave quite a few people a sense of pressure. The lava giant race was not an existence that they wished to provoke. Their race was spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands, and they were also very united. If one was provoked, the rest would also be provoked. The wrath of the lava giant race wasn't something that just anyone could endure. Yu Qingxuan smiled when she saw the lava giant race stand by Long Chen. That proved that he was a good person. He had helped many people. Long Chen helplessly thanked the lava giant. He then walked toward the heavenly flame world's gates alongside Yu Qingxuan. The closest space next to the gates had long since been occupied, but slightly further away there were still some empty spots. However, if you wished to reach those spots, you had to pass through the encirclement of people. The two of them had just started walking through when someone blocked their way. Sorry, but I will only permit Fairy Kingshuin to pass. I won't let a murderous villain who kills people for their treasures to pass. This was a ninth heaven stage divine lord, and he looked at Long Chen with obvious loathing and disdain. Seeing this, Yu Kingshuin was enraged. These people were actually labeling Long Chen as such a villain just because of some words from the Soaring Dragon Company. It was absolutely vile. Long Chen couldn't help sighing and shaking his head. Seeing him sigh and shake his head, that person sneered, Do you not know what you've done? 
by standing beside fairy kingshuan it is like you are placing a turd beside a beautiful flower if i wasn't afraid of blaspheming a fairy i would ring off your head long ago that person's expression grew sinister his eyes were full of hatred and envy don't force me long chen once more shook his head so what if i force you i am the amethyst from amid gates immediately long chen's hand reached out like a bolt of lightning toward that person's neck just as long chen's hand was about to touch his neck that person sneered sinisterly all of a sudden two strange snakes appeared on his shoulders biting down on long chen's wrist chapter three thousand five hundred twenty nine the two snakes appeared out of nowhere furthermore it was just as long chen's hand was about to grab his neck this sudden sneak attack couldn't be defended against the two snakes bit their fangs deeply into long chen's arm however long chen's hand was still tightly clenched around that person's neck the amethyst firmament gate spirit flame divine beast the flame spirit python startled cries rang out long chen's doomed the flame spirit python's venom is incomparable anyone bitten by it will have fire poison invade their hearts there's no cure added another person who knew the flame spirit python's terror as soon as someone was bitten by a flame spirit python its fire poison would instantly spread throughout their entire body even the soul would be ignited all those struck by it would definitely die people felt pity for long chen as this was truly a sinister play that person had intentionally baited long chen into attacking him it was a trap however people quickly realized something was off no matter how those two pythons bit his arm, Long Chen's hand was still tightly holding that person's throat. Moreover, the latter's sinister smile gradually became one of confusion and fear. Suddenly, the two pythons on Long Chen's arm exploded, shattering like ice statues. They then fell to the ground in bits of ice, but the ice didn't melt when it landed on the ground instead it pierced through the ground leaving tiny holes it was as if that ice contained a terrifying heat that directly melted the rock why not just live properly why do you just have to get yourself killed for fame for profit i have no enmity with you so why did you want to kill me long chen looked at that shocked expert apathetically huol linger had completely refined the ice soul although it couldn't be said that she was the ice soul she was already able to control a trace of the ice soul's power although it was just a trace that was the divine flame ranked eight on the heavenly flame rankings its ranking was even higher than the heavenly rainbow flame hence this kind of fire poison was a joke in front of long chen even without the ice soul with huo linger's power that so-called fire poison was nothing more than a snack seeing this bewildering scene everyone was stunned the experts that were together with that person finally had their expressions change long chen stop that is our amethyst firmament gates future gate master if you dare to harm a single hair shouted the third heaven stage world king of the amethyst firmament gate then what will you dare to come to the high firmament academy for revenge long chen likely that person was instantly left speechless although their amethyst firmament gate did have some power in the chaotic star sea they were only a middling power in terms of fame they could not compare to the oldest academy of the nine heavens don't talk crap release the junior gate master then we can treat it as if nothing happened shouted that world king long chen ignored this elder and then turned to yu king shuen i'm sorry what is it yu king shuen was startled why would he suddenly apologize to her in truth i'm not some good kind person my kindness is reserved only for those who are kind to evil people i can only be more evil than them I have never claimed to be an emissary of righteousness. 
but I will do my best to slaughter all the evil life forms that come at me. The next moment, Long Chen's arm quivered, and that junior gate master instantly exploded in body and soul. The death of their junior gate master infuriated the elder in charge of protecting the amethyst firmament gate's disciples. With a furious roar, he unleashed his divine might. However, even before he fully entered combat state, Long Chen's saber fell, bringing those fluctuations to an end. The sound of a saber returning to its sheath shook the heavens. Within this silent world, it was as loud as thunder. That elder's aura vanished. His finger was pointed at Long Chen as if he wanted to say something, but without saying anything, he plummeted to the ground, his corpse splitting into two halves. This elder was truly a fool. When fighting against others, at this close distance, he actually unleashed his aura over anything else. What enemy would give you time to warm up like that? Clearly, this was an elder who had eaten too much and lived too peacefully, relying on his fame and cultivation base. His battle will had already regressed. Long Chen naturally wouldn't give him any chance. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from novel loom, calm at this moment, the other experts of the amethyst firmament gate were dumbfounded. That elder was their deputy gate master, and he was also the only one capable of constructing the spatial gate to draw in the reinforcements of the amethyst firmament gate. However, he was already dead. As they had no backer now, they stared in horror at Long Chen, afraid that he would also kill them. Long Chen had just killed a third heaven stage world king with a single stroke of his saber. Although that world king was a fool, Long Chen's movements were clean and effective. There was the slightest waste. That relaxed expression of his even after he killed a world king shook countless experts. This was a true expert that had experienced countless battles. I'm really sorry. Maybe I tricked you. Maybe I'm not the person that you thought I was. Long Chen apologized to Yu Qingxuan, whose expression truly was a bit unnatural. He knew that Yu Qingxuan had a kind and gentle character. She couldn't bear to kill people normally. However, Long Chen didn't want to pretend to be someone that he wasn't, nor could he pretend. Just now, the junior gate master of the amethyst firmament gate had provoked him. If Long Chen had endured it, that junior gate master wouldn't have let things go and would have continued to insult Long Chen repeatedly. He would eventually touch upon his parents. After that, Long Chen would still be made to attack. Furthermore, the longer he restrained himself, the more his negative emotions would grow. That would produce more dark energy, and his heart devil would grow stronger. He had no other choice. Yu Qingxuan shook her head. There's no need for you to apologize to me. I am not you. My master's light protects me, so no one will bully me. But you don't have that protective light. You can only bear your fangs to protect yourself. Thank you. Long Chen smiled, feeling a bit moved. Originally, he was afraid that his actions would cause Yu Qingxuan to dislike him. He hadn't expected her to understand him. Why do you thank me? asked Yu Qingxuan with a smile. Because I said that I wouldn't let anyone hurt you. That includes me. If I did something that made you feel bad, that would be the greatest sin, said Long Chen as if relieved from a heavy burden. Shut up. Long Chen, you murderous bastard, you dare to act so unashamedly here. Seeing that Long Chen was showing off, and still openly flirting with Yu Qingxuan. Zhao Mingxuan was unable to endure any longer. He raged with killing intent. Is using despicable means to sneak attacks someone whose blood Kai has regressed something very heroic. If you're a real man, you won't hide behind a woman. Come out and have a fair fight with me. Zhao Mingxuan could not endure any longer. He found that Yu Qingxuan was being bewitched by this fellow. He had to kill Long Chen as soon as possible. Otherwise, if this continued, then the bewitchment would be too deep. And even if Long Chen was slain, 
it would be too late. Hence, Zhao Mingxuan could no longer wait. However, before Long Chen could reply, the void shuddered. The heavenly flame world's gates slowly opened as countless runes appeared on them. When the spatial gates opened, endless flame energy gushed out and this world instantly became a sea of fire. Furthermore, at this time, countless experts fought through that current of flames to charge through the gates. Chapter 3530 The Heavenly Flame World was open, so countless experts charged through the current, rushing toward that spatial gate as fast as possible. The various protectors of the major forces also charged in. All of them could enter the heavenly flame world. The question was whether or not they could endure the roasting of the heavenly flames. At this moment, Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan exchanged a glance. Yu Qingxuan said, let's go together. Long Chen nodded. Along with Yu Qingxuan and her two guards, they entered through the gates. Clearly, Yu Qingxuan was doing this out of the kindness of her heart. She was afraid that other world kings would suddenly attack Long Chen at this time. With the two of them together, the others would be restrained by her status. At the very least, they wouldn't attack him here. Yu Qingxuan was most worried about this aspect. There were far too many terrifying existences hidden here. Who knew whether or not the Soaring Dragon Company had set some terrifying world kings as well? Long Chen was grateful for Yu Qingxuan's invitation. She was acting carefully, showing consideration for his face. The four of them then charged through and quickly approached the core of the gates. After that, a huge whirlpool appeared. Once they entered the whirlpool, that would be the true heavenly flame world. However, after entering this whirlpool, space became chaotic and people would be sent to different locations. If they wanted to stay together, they needed to be close and form a powerful force field. That way, the four of them would be guaranteed to land in the same place. Those two fourth heaven stage world kings were already forming hand seals. Layers of divine light enveloped the four of them. However, Long Chen suddenly stepped outside of this light. Long Chen, you. You, King Shuen, was shocked. King Shuen, thank you for your kindness, but let us part here. This world has many ugly things that I don't want you to see. Long Chen smiled at her and waved his hand. His figure then vanished within the whirlpool. Yu Qingxuan stared blankly at the spot where Long Chen had vanished. She didn't quite understand his words. He doesn't want you to see a bloody scene. This person is a true expert, a warrior that crawled out of mountains of corpses and seas of blood. You cannot imagine what he has experienced. It's because not everyone in this world is as fortunate as you. This world's cruelty is not something you can fathom, said one of her elders. These two elders had watched Yu King Shuen grow up and were more familiar with her character than anyone else. They helped explain Long Chen's motive when they saw that she didn't quite understand. At first, they had been vigilant toward Long Chen. This youngster was too dangerous. In the fallen immortal pavilion, when Zhao Mingxuan provoked him, his heaven-shaking killing intent even made their hearts pound. It was at that moment that they realized they had misjudged them, and that he was actually an extremely terrifying existence. Just before this, they had seen the killing intent of countless experts from countless races when Long Chen appeared. Based on their knowledge and these experts' spiritual fluctuations, the two elders could tell that these life forms all came from different worlds. For them all to form killing intent toward Long Chen on sight meant that Long Chen had killed far too many people of their races. This enmity was something that had sunk into their souls. At first, they were unable to understand why the oldest academy in the world would make a youngster a dean. Even if it was just the dean of a branch, that was playing around too much. But now they found that this youngster called Long Chen was definitely not simple. 
these two elders also entered the spatial whirlpool with Yu Qingxuan. As a result, they had only come out of the other side where they saw a giant heavenly saber slash down, bringing with it a rain of blood. It's Long Chen. Yu Qingxuan cried out. After that saber light, Long Chen transformed into a bolt of lightning that vanished from everyone's sight. Up in the sky, there were dozens of world kings covered in blood, fear in their eyes. It's the Soaring Dragon Company's people, said one of the elders beside Yu Qingxuan, frowning. Interesting. They really are stingy. Although they announced that huge bounty, they want to save the money for themselves. It's too bad that rather than eating the meat, they broke their teeth instead. The other elder shook his head. Clearly, these people had come prepared, first entering the heavenly flame world to catch Long Chen off guard. That way, they would keep the one billion immortal King Crystal reward. Regretfully, their plans went awry, and their trap couldn't stop Long Chen. Looking at the charred corpses on the ground, it seemed that they had lost quite a few experts. Some experts who happened to see this scene jumped in shock. This Long Chan was actually terrifying. But after breaking through their blockade, Long Chen immediately fled. Hence, many world kings with more powerful auras wanted to attack, but had no chance. Ignore them. Let's go. The two elders only glanced for a moment before bringing Yu Qingxuan away. This place was a channel, and the other side of the channel was the true heavenly flame world. Their field of view rapidly widened as they passed through. They then saw a fiery world. This was a scarlet world composed of ragged stone piles. Wild flames gushed through this world, weaving between heaven and earth. Occasionally, flaming meteorites would descend and smash into the ground. The ground here was made of tough stone, and the air was filled with the scent of fire. If a non-flame cultivator were to come here, they probably wouldn't be able to last even a few breaths. After progressing through the heavenly flame world for an instant's sticks worth of time, the world kings all came to a pause. There was a barrier up ahead that they couldn't cross. If they forcibly tried to, the flame energy would multiply on top of them. Even world kings couldn't endure it. They could only send their disciples to this point. Be careful. Other than yourself, don't trust anyone, implored one of Yu Qingxuan's elders. That Long Chen isn't bad, complimented the other elder. However, the other one glared at him. Yu Qingxuan's face reddened slightly. The two of them had seen through Long Chen's feelings toward her. She then hastily agreed and rushed off deeper into the heavenly flame world. Once Yu Qingxuan entered the depths of the heavenly flame world, the two of them found a place for themselves to sit by the barrier. They patiently waited. It wasn't just them. The other world kings were doing the same. This novel is available on Noveloon. Come, however, what people found unexpected was that the Soaring Dragon Company's people also came. Their spiritual fluctuations were active, and they seemed to be discussing something. It seems that they are still worried that Long Chen won't die. They are going to make sure that he's a tortoise caught in a jar, said one elder. I keep feeling like this matter isn't so simple. Look, the other suddenly pointed into the distance. They saw a life form pass through the spatial wall, merge into heaven and earth, and vanish without a trace. As a result, both of their expressions grew solemn. They were bewildered. This time... Something unimaginable is probably going to appear within the heavenly flame world. King Shuen is in danger. We must tell her to be careful. No, we have to report this to the sect master. Chapter 3531 Long Chen transformed into a bolt of lightning that shot through the Soaring Dragon Company's blockade. He had long since been prepared. However, he had also been prepared for Wu Yang, Zhao Qingxuan, and the others. But they didn't appear to block him. Instead, 
It was these stubborn fellows from the Soaring Dragon Company. Long Chen now knew that while Wu Yang and the others wanted to kill him, they seemed to view the Heavenly Flame spirits as more important. Too many people were present for this opening of the Heavenly Flame world, so they couldn't go back empty-handed. Thus, after charging through their blockade, Long Chen didn't tarry. He immediately rushed into the depths. The heavenly flame world was chaotic. There was no sun, no moon, and no stars. But there were two directions that were easy to distinguish. One was the entrance. A giant whirlpool could be seen there. The other direction also had a whirlpool, but it was thousands of times bigger than the one Long Chen had entered through. That place was the depths of the heavenly flame world, the place where the heavenly flame spirits appeared. That was everyone's target. Long Chen then activated the movement art of the lightning falcon race, shooting through the air. He was incredibly quick, catching up to some experts up ahead in just a moment. Those experts were startled. Seeing Long Chen charging past, they wanted to attack him, but he was too fast. Before their attacks even landed, he was already out of sight. However, the heavenly flame world was gigantic. Long Chen didn't see Wu Yang, Zhao Mingxuan, and the others. He didn't know if it was because they weren't on the same path as him, or if they had flying boats that were even faster than him. As Long Chen rushed through the air, he vaguely sensed a streak of divine light flying in the distance. That aura seemed to be from Yu Qingxuan's war chariot. But he was too far and the feeling was too indistinct. Long Chen couldn't bother with it that much. As he sped through the air, he saw fewer and fewer people. Furthermore, as he got closer to the whirlpool, it grew larger in his vision. Long Chen flew at full power for six hours. That whirlpool seemed right in front of him, and yet it was always too far to touch. It was simply enormous. Looking back at the whirlpool that he had entered from, he saw that it was as tiny as a beam. The size difference between the two was truly enormous. Furthermore, the closer he got to the whirlpool, the denser the flame energy in the air. Huo Linger was already impatient and transformed into runes that stuck on Long Chen's body, absorbing this flame energy. Long Chen rushed for a full day until... He was finally unable to keep going. The air here was dense. Even with the naked eye, it was possible to see flame runes in the air. Long Chen felt like he was in a sea of flames. As for Hua Linger, she was exceptionally excited. She was like a dragon returning to the sea, a tiger returning to its mountain forest. She was absorbing the energy here freely. Before this, Due to merging with the ice soul divine flame, she had used up a great deal of her energy. Although she had managed to gain a trace of the ice soul divine flame's power, that energy had not fully recovered. Now she was rapidly replenishing her energy stores. This world seemed to belong to her. Here she was free. She felt better than ever. Long Chen rested a bit before continuing deeper into the depths. It was just as he expected. This place was simply enormous. Even though there were tens of millions of flame cultivators rushing in the same direction, he didn't see a single one. Furthermore, Yu Qingxuan said that every time the heavenly flame world descended, the terrain would be different. Thus, there was no map for this place. No one knew where the heavenly flame spirits were. They could only rely on themselves to look for them. When Long Chen truly got close to that whirlpool, he finally found that this place seemed to be a completely different world. All kinds of berserk energy were clashing and merging here. These energies were all flame energy, but these flame energies were split into millions of kinds. They were chaotic, lawless, attacking and rejecting each other. Sometimes there would be some flame runes in one place, and then just after crossing a single mountain, the flame runes would be different. It was like all kinds of flames were vying for supremacy here, all of them fighting to live. Both 
Long Chen heard a muffled sound in the distance, as well as a miserable cry. Long Chen then rushed over in the direction of that sound. As a result, after flying a full incense stick's worth of time, he finally saw a ravaged battlefield as well as bloodstains. Long Chen touched the blood on the ground. A late-stage divine lord of the human race with impressive blood kai. We are Navalun, come find us on Google. Looking at the vestiges, Long Chen was surprised. The portions of the ground that had crumbled were not caused by that human expert. It seemed that the human expert had been sneak attacked and killed here. Not even their corpse remained. Long Chen then saw a giant footprint and didn't recognize what life form it belonged to. Other than that person's aura, he didn't sense any odd auras. It seems that there was a heavenly flame spirit here. Just as Yu Qingxuan said, they really are vicious. They took that person's life in one blow. Long Chen's day shone brightly. Not daring to be careless, he flew a few circles in the vicinity but didn't notice the tracks of any mysterious life form. Helpless, he continued onward. What left Long Chen depressed was that he saw several recent battlefields, but it seemed that people had either been killed by the heavenly flame spirits or been subdued by them, leaving him with nothing. Long Chen was starting to panic a bit. It couldn't be that his damnable bad luck was about to activate at this time, right? If he really was so unlucky to not run into a single heavenly flame spirit, then there would have been no point in coming here. Just as Long Chen was grumbling inside, he heard explosions in the distance. Long Chen immediately rushed off in that direction. Even if he couldn't run into one, he'd need to think of a way to benefit from others. As expected, he quickly saw an expert with overflowing devil Kai fighting some fierce tiger wrapped in flames. That tiger was exceptionally ferocious. As its sharp claws pierced through the air, large ripples would appear in the void. The power of its claws was comparable to a world king's attack. This is a heavenly flame spirit. What pure flame energy! Long Chen was pleasantly surprised when he saw the tiger. This was his first time seeing a heavenly flame spirit. This heavenly flame spirit was like Huo Linger and Lei Linger. It represented a pure concentration of energy. It has one kind of rune on it. In other words, its power is comparable to an ordinary first heaven stage world king. Long Chen carefully examined the tiger and found that while it had countless runes shining on it, they were all of one form. Before entering the heavenly flame world, Yu Qingxuan had explained some differences between the power levels of the heavenly flame spirits to make sure Long Chen didn't accidentally target the wrong one. Just as Long Chen was observing the fight between the heavenly flame spirit and the devil expert, Long Chen noticed someone stealthily sneaking over not too far from him. Someone is snatching my business. Chapter 3532 Long Chen sensed that are stealthily creeping in from the other direction. Hence, Long Chen quickly concealed his own aura. His flame energy stemmed entirely from Huo Linger. As long as he didn't expose Huo Linger's aura, it wouldn't be easy for others to notice him. He quickly saw a furtive figure coming up from the other side of this mountain. Yuo Zijun? When Long Chen saw his face, he smiled sinisterly. This fellow was with Zhao Mingxuan and the others, the one who had made sarcastic remarks toward Long Chen in the fallen immortal pavilion. After that, he threatened to kill Long Chen for the bounty. Enemies truly did cross paths often. He just had to encounter Long Chen here. Yuo Zijun was by himself. Sneaking over and looking around, he didn't seem to sense any danger. After stamping his foot on the ground, he directly pounced on that devil expert and the heavenly flame spirit. That devil expert was focused entirely on the flame tiger. But just as he had the advantage, he was sneak attacked. With a furious roar, he swung his weapon behind him, 
only for the distraction to cause the tiger's claw to smash into his body, blowing him up. As a result, flame energy erupted. Yuo Zijin seemed prepared. At some point, a large net appeared in his hand. He then cast it through the air. All that flame energy and the tiger were enveloped by that net. Long Chen was startled. This flame net possessed a terrifying aura, and it was covered in runes. It was actually a world domain divine item. That tiger struggled crazily, but that net simply tightened and its body exploded, transforming into flame runes. When the net contracted, it actually gathered the flame runes from the heavenly flame spirit and the devil expert together. Aha, that's the sixth. The treasure that my master gave me really is perfect. Yuo Zijin laughed wildly. The net then shrank until the devil expert's flame energy and the heavenly flame spirit's runes were compressed into a fist-sized sphere. After that, he took out a bottle and carefully put the sphere inside of it. Just as he was about to put the bottle away, a gust of wind blew by. That bottle vanished. Hence, Yuo Zijin was shocked and hastily looked around. Long Chen. He quickly spotted Long Chen standing on the mountain peak, holding his bottle. Yuo Zijin was enraged. His treasure had actually been taken by Long Chen. Fuck, are the heavens blind? If I want to get something, I have to run all around and exhaust myself like a dog, all just to see a single heavenly flame spirit fighting with someone else. You're telling me that you've run into five before this. Where is heaven's justice? Long Chen looked at the six spheres inside the bottle and couldn't help feeling envious. This bastard's luck was too good, wasn't it? Long Chen, die. Yuo Zijin felt a mix of shock and anger. With a howl, he swung his giant net over Long Chen. But all of a sudden, a flame spear pierced his back. Yuo Zijin's body quivered and he looked down at his chest in disbelief. Slowly turning around, he saw a pretty girl in a flame dress staring at him coldly. Have you gotten used to peaceful days? You're so foolish. Do you not even know how you lost your item? Long Chen scoffed at Yuo Zijin's lost expression with disdain. Huo Linger had merged into the space here and snatched his bottle, giving it to Long Chen. Afterward, Liuo Zijin only spotted Long Chen, but didn't see Huo Linger standing right behind him. Any dragon blood warrior in the same situation would have sensed something wrong. But Liuo Zijin hadn't even considered it, only thinking about taking back his bottle. Hence, he was easily done for. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of having Huo Linger draw his attention while he killed him, but he had overestimated this fellow who called himself an expert. Yuo Zijun was shocked to find that his flame energy was rapidly being sucked away by the spear. Long Chen, I have my sect's jade talisman. If you kill me, everything here will be transmitted outside. If you kill me, you won't live either. My sect will definitely avenge me. Let's discuss it. I can give you those heavenly flame spirits, and you can let me go. Then we can each mind our own business, said Yuo Zijin loudly. Long Chen wasn't moved. Looking at the six flame spheres in the bottle, he curled his lips. Who are you trying to con? Four of the six people you killed were humans. Are you not afraid of their revenge? Long Chen found that there was one steer with the aura of the devil race, one with the beast race, and the rest contained the aura of the human race. Clearly, these six heavenly flame spirits weren't first discovered by him. He had simply used his net to kill a person and take their treasured discovery. Moreover, he hadn't just taken the heavenly flame spirits but also the flame energy inside the bodies of those experts. No, no, it's true. I killed them because even if their sects found out, they wouldn't dare to touch me, shouted Liuo Zijin hastily when he saw that Long Chen didn't believe him. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. 
His voice was already starting to become hoarse, and fear filled his eyes. That was because Huo Linger was rapidly absorbing his flame energy. That was his core flame. If too much of it was absorbed, he would be crippled. Oh, so that's the case. You mean that you can kill people, but I can't kill you? said Long Chen disdainfully. Yuo Zijun wanted to say yes. But he didn't dare to say it in the end for fear of infuriating Long Chen. The cultivation world was simply like that. There was no justice or law. Whoever was strongest was the law. Too bad. I can't let you off. Just based on the fact that you want to kill me, I cannot let you off. You will definitely die today. Didn't you say that a recording of just before you die will be sent to your sect's experts? Then do you have any final words? Say them quickly, or don't say that I didn't give you a chance, said Long Chen indifferently. No, I don't want to die. Please let me go, Yuo Zijun cried. In front of death, his pride vanished like it had never existed. That's obviously impossible. People like you think that you can control other people's lives and treat them as nothing. I can't even form the slightest pity for people like you. Now you know fear. Did you think about other people's pain and thirst for life before you killed them? Long Chen's expression turned cold. He then nodded to Huo Linger. Boop! Yuo Zijin's body exploded. Just as he was killed, a mirror design appeared in the void. That mirror caused time runes to fly about before it vanished. Good! This scene can be considered my declaration of war against those ignorant fools. Long Chen took away Liu Zijin's net, and with a flash, he entered deeper toward the whirlpool. As for the other whirlpool in the entrance, just as Liu Zijin died, an uproar exploded there. Chapter 3533 Long Chen, you got him. At the entrance to the heavenly flame world, a fourth heaven stage world king let out a heaven shaking roar. A scene appeared above his head. Yuo Zijun had not been lying. After he was killed, this scene really was transmitted outside. Furthermore, it recorded several breaths worth of time. Hence, Long Chen and Yuo Zijun's conversation was all sent back. When they saw that scene, quite a few experts had their hearts shake. Yuo Zijun was from the magnificent Cliff Valley. Moreover, he was the Valley Master's only disciple. He was viewed as his heir who would take up his legacy. Other than the actual Valley Master, he had the highest position in the magnificent Cliff Valley. As for the Valley Master, he was a grand seventh heaven stage world king. He was also an overlord with immense power and prestige. Thus, no matter how tyrannical Yuo Zijin acted, no one dared to do anything to him. Now that he was killed, people were shaken. That Long Chen really is brave. He even dares to kill Yuo Zijin. People were shocked by Long Chen's guts. After killing Yuo Zijin, how was he planning on leaving? Was he not afraid of the magnificent Cliff Valley guarding the exit for him? It had to be known that the heavenly flame world only had a single exit. However, they also felt some delight. Yuo Zijun had also killed some of their people, but they didn't dare to provoke the magnificent Cliff Valley or even make a sound. Now Long Chen has essentially gotten revenge for all of them. Report this to the Valley Master immediately, shouted their head elder. The Valley Master's disciple had been killed, and this matter's implications were huge. The Valley Master will personally descend to avenge his disciple. Now it's going to be fun. Some of the spectators muttered to themselves. However, this wasn't some crazy thing. Every time the heavenly flame world was opened, there would be a chaotic battle at the end. Disciples would kill each other, so naturally the seniors of those fallen disciples would avenge their disciples. And, of course, the seniors of the killers would defend the killers. Thus, before the heavenly flame world opened, people wouldn't start fighting. But after it closed, there would definitely be a bloodbath. Eh? Long Chen didn't know what was happening outside. 
even if he knew he would act the same anyone who wanted to kill him had to be prepared to be killed in reprisal everyone's life was the same if you want to kill me don't blame me for being vicious long chen was pleasantly surprised by luo zijin's net though it was a true treasure he didn't know what material it was made out of but it was very elastic it could be spread many thousands of miles if he so desired if he unleashed its full power it would be enough to instantly wipe out a prefecture city yuo zijun was completely unable to control this world domain divine item it was a priceless treasure of his master and had his master's spiritual imprint on it thus while it was in his possession he was unable to unleash its true power a world domain divine item did not just require its approval to use but it also required a powerful spiritual strength this divine item in particular required a huge amount of flame energy to activate its power yuo zijun was unable to obtain its approval so he was relying entirely on his master's spiritual seal to use the slightest bit of its capabilities considering his spiritual strength and flame energy he was unable to activate any of the runes on the net however just relying on the innate properties of its materials it was still a terrifying killing item it could pull in flame energy any flame caught within it would be rapidly compressed into flame essence this was a perfect divine item for this place it was not only capable of being used in battle but it could also assist with cultivation to a flame cultivator it was a priceless treasure this treasure was actually one of the core treasures of the magnificent cliff valley if it weren't for Luo Zijin being the sole beloved disciple of the Valley Master and the fact that this net could make Luo Zijin a tiger with wings, they definitely would not have permitted him to bring this treasure with him. The fact that this treasure had landed in Long Chen's hands made the magnificent Cliff Valley's experts panic. That elder had directly reported things to the Valley Master. Long Chen was excited to obtain this treasure. First, he directly gave the flame spears that Luo Zijun had gathered to Huo Linger. She instantly started devouring them. This unlucky Luo Zijun had gathered five heavenly flame spirits and had been looking to find a safe space to absorb them when he was drawn over by the disturbance caused by that devil race expert. In the end, he ended up losing his life and leaving the good stuff to Long Chen this net was not an existence that long chen could subdue thus he tossed it into the primal chaos space just as he had predicted its item spirit was disturbed out of its slumber when it entered the primal chaos space just as it thought of resisting the slightest quiver from the primal chaos space made it become obedient long chen then placed his own spiritual mark on it as a result this priceless treasure became his. Unbeknownst to Long Chen, just as he placed his spiritual mark on it, in the magnificent Cliff Valley, an elder who had just received some shocking and enraging news suddenly coughed up blood as he was leaving. Valley Master, countless experts cried out when they looked at that elder, How can this be? the phoenix blood heavenly silk net actually recognized a new master the valley master's expression was one of shock and fury eh? phoenix blood heavenly silk net once long chen became the master of the net he learned its name only then did he realize just how terrifying its origins were the phoenix blood heavenly silkworm was a flame element spirit beast and the silk that it spat out contained endless flame energy that silk was a supreme treasure the silk threads had countless runes on them that could barely be seen with the naked eye once the runes were activated a single thread could cut through a king item considering how much silk was here it had probably taken hundreds or thousands of world king phoenix blood heavenly silkworms to spit out these threads there was also the core thread of a wind lightning heavenly silkworm that had reached the divine venerate level that was how this world domain divine item was made when the net contracted 
it could be the size of a baby's fist, and when it was tossed out, it could cover an entire prefecture city. It could contract and extend in the blink of an eye, catching people off guard. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a miraculous, divine weapon. He was in love with it. With this net, Long Chen was revitalized. Now, he had ample confidence. As expected, plundering really was the fastest shortcut to wealth. Long Chen didn't waste any more time. He continued onward. Huo Linger said that these heavenly flame spirits were of immense use to her. They were the best items for increasing her energy. She wasn't just increasing her flame energy by absorbing them. Their runes also became hers after she absorbed them. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon. Calm the core flames of the experts that Liu Zijin killed were also absorbed by her. Through these runes, she could learn various flame divine arts. Every rune that she absorbed increased her power by a bit, so she had never felt so refreshed. She was now in an even greater rush than Long Chen to absorb as many heavenly flame spirits as possible. Long Chen rushed through the land. He met two human experts on the way that were fighting heavenly flame spirits. They instantly tensed when they saw Long Chen. It had to be known that killing people for their treasures was far too common here. However, their worries were superfluous. Long Chen simply glanced at them before continuing to rush off. Suddenly, Long Chen heard intense rumbling sounds from up ahead. He saw a group of devil race experts attacking a giant heavenly flame spirit. Two types of runes. A heavenly flame spirit on the level of a second heaven stage world king. Long Chen's eyes instantly lit up. Without a word, he cast out the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Chapter 3534 The Giant Net Fell enveloping heaven and earth. Seven devil race experts were besieging a giant flame lizard and didn't even sense anything before they were caught by the net. Contract. Long Chen shouted and the phoenix blood heavenly silk net instantly contracted. After that, those seven devil experts and the giant flame lizard exploded and a sphere of light appeared in the net. However, before Long Chen could even move, Hua Linger had transformed into a flame dragon and devoured it. From the moment of the attack until the gains were devoured, only a blink of an eye had passed. Damn, this phoenix blood heavenly silk net is too powerful. It is practically a waste of a treasure in Yuo Sijin's hands. Long Chen was incredibly excited. That heavenly flame spirit with two kinds of runes, was equivalent to a second heaven stage world king, but it was instantly killed without the slightest ability to resist. Even those devil experts and their weapons were destroyed. In front of the phoenix blood heavenly silk net, the heavenly flame spirit that was on par with a second heaven stage world king was trash. With such a good treasure, if I didn't take advantage, I would be wasting it. Seeing how terrifying the phoenix blood heavenly silk net was, Long Chen didn't waste any time. He continued rushing deeper. Yuo Linger had told him that the flame energy contained within this stronger heavenly flame spirit was over ten times greater than what those first heaven state heavenly flame spirits had. Furthermore, Huo Linger was originally a spirit of ten thousand flames. So, absorbing the heavenly flame spirits could not be easier for her. As her power slowly grew bit by bit, she had the urge to devour the entire heavenly flame world. This heavenly flame world could be viewed as the starting point of her transformation. Huo Linger and Lei Linger had always been Long Chen's strongest trump cards. However, after entering the immortal world, Lei Linger's power far surpassed Huo Linger's. In fact, their combined attack actually required Lei Linger to weaken her power to cooperate with Huo Linger. Huo Linger had her own pride, and although she hadn't said anything, she thirsted to get stronger inside. Now she finally had that chance. 
Suddenly the land in front of them vanished, replaced by a sea of lava. Long Chen saw quite a few lifeforms flying to and fro on top of the sea of lava. It was like they were chasing something. Boom! All of a sudden, one lifeform shouted and threw his flying trident into the sea. A three-foot-long fish was pierced and dredged out of the lava sea. However, the fish unexpectedly hurled a mouthful of flames at that life form, who then hastily swung his trident to the side, parrying the flames. Even so, many parts of him were already charred black. Clearly, he had been struck by those flames several times now. Supposedly, it was his experience that allowed him to parry the last attack. Damn, there are heavenly flame spirits beneath the lava sea as well. Long Chen was startled. These strange fish were actually first heaven stage heavenly flame spirits. That life form immediately put away the heavenly flame spirit after obtaining it. Everyone here was not intent on directly absorbing them for fear of someone else attacking them in the middle. Just like Liuo Zijun, they were waiting to gather sufficient quantities before finding a safe place to absorb the spirits. Furthermore, everyone was tense, looking at each other cautiously. Even those from the same race couldn't be trusted. If they were truly powerful, they would instantly sense the danger to their lives and wouldn't hesitate to flee from this place. After that life form obtained one fish, he looked around and tossed something into the lava sea. Due to how quick his movements were, Long Chen didn't even see what it was. However, with his powerful spiritual strength, Long Chen found that after that person tossed that thing, another fish was drawn over. The moment the fish ate what he had tossed out, he threw his trident, catching another heavenly flame spirit. Not bad. You can actually go fishing here. Long Chen instantly understood that this fellow was likely tossing flame oars into the lava sea. The fish were attracted to those flame oars. However, these oars would have their energy quickly dissipate within this lava sea. In just a few breaths, they would turn into chunks of garbage. We are not alone, come find us on Google. It was precisely due to this that they drew over these fish with their flame energy. However, the chances of success using this method were too low. If there were no fish in the surroundings when you tossed the oar out, you would just be constantly losing bait. The main thing was still luck. Luck? Fuck your luck. I'm not relying on that thing. Long Chen shook his head and directly flew toward the lava sea. With his spiritual strength stretched out, he started to search for those fish. However, he quickly found that it was too deep for his spiritual strength to penetrate all the way. He could only spread it a hundred miles in. Long Chen also found that these fish weren't in groups. They were all isolated, but he didn't want to foolishly try to bait them like others. He will linger, you lure them together. We'll catch all of them in one go. Long Chen had Huo Linger transform into millions of tiny flame dragons that entered the lava sea. She then spread throughout this region. As expected, those tiny flame dragons quickly drew the attention of the fish. They chased the tiny flame dragons down to consume them. With Huo Linger's power spread, she couldn't beat these strange fish that were comparable to first heaven stage world kings. Hence, she only played a game of cat and mouse with them. In just a bit, countless flame dragons caused the lava sea to roil. Countless fish were chasing them, and even some fish from the depths of the sea were disturbed. The giant lava sea roiled and raged as countless fish went crazy chasing after the tiny flame dragons. Controlling all these split bodies was very difficult for Huo Linger, so some of them were consumed. But she wasn't worried. She continued to direct them all to one place, and those fish flocked over in inestimable numbers. The moment they were all gathered in a 10,000-mile area, Long Chen cast out the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net, which instantly covered that area. 
the surface of the lava exploded as the fish struggled within the net. Long Chen had caught hundreds of thousands of them. However, the net shook as they resisted with all their power. Explosions repeatedly sent pillars of lava soaring into the sky. As the fish resisted with all their power and spat out flames, Long Chen was shocked to find that there were actually too many of them. He was unable to reel them in. You will linger, help me contract the net. Long Chen quickly reacted. These were no fish after all. They were a group of World King Heavenly Flames spirits. At this moment, the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net glowed. Those struggling fish exploded into flame runes when they smashed into the net. With Huel Linger's flame energy injected into it, the silk's runes lit up and explosions rang out from inside the net. In just a few breaths' time, those fish were all turned into runic spears. After that, Huo Linger transformed into a giant dragon and devoured all those flame runes. In an instant, Huo Linger became a fatty. Her aura grew crazily. But when the lava sea began to rise, Long Chen's expression changed. Putting away the phoenix blood heavenly silk net, he fled. Oh, he had just left when a giant mouth broke through the surface of the lava and tried to devour him. Chapter 3535 Dam That giant mouth caused the heavens to collapse and a giant vortex to appear. Fortunately, Long Chen fled quickly enough. If he had been slower, he definitely would have been devoured by that vortex. Five kinds of runes. Long Chen was shocked. No wonder it had given him such a terrifying feeling. It was a heavenly flame spirit comparable to a fifth heaven stage world king. At this moment, a powerful suction force tore at the sky. Long Chen felt like his body would be torn apart. Fortunately, he had fled early enough or he would be doomed. That heavenly flame spirit let out a heaven-shaking roar. It was actually a giant python. Failing to consume Long Chen in one bite, it actually swung its tail and chased after him. Search Navaloon, come for the original. This fellow seems a bit too big. You will linger, I don't think we can eat it, said Long Chen as he eyed that python. It seems that we really can't, said Hu will linger obediently. Even if they could catch this thing in their net, they might not be able to subdue it. If it was during a normal time, they could still try it. However, they couldn't in this place. Who knew whether or not geniuses of other races were lying in wait here? What if, when Long Chen used up all his power subduing this terrifying existence, he was suddenly sneak attacked? Thus, Although Hua Linger wanted to devour this terrifying python, she didn't want Long Chen to take the risk. After all, there were too many enemies here. Furthermore, in the process, they might draw even more terrifying heavenly flame spirits. The python continued to chase Long Chen, refusing to let him off. It was constantly roaring at him. What is it saying? asked Long Chen. It's cursing you saying that you ate all of the food that it was raising. It says that you're a vile interloper and must be eaten, said Huo Linger. As a flame spirit, she could understand the words of heavenly flame spirits. What is it cursing me for? I'm not the one who ate them. It should be cursing you, laughed Long Chen. Huo Linger also laughed. Ah, that's right. It does seem to be cursing the two of us. It seemed that Long Chen's laughter provoked that python. Its killing intent soared as it continued to chase. Lightning then appeared beneath Long Chen's feet. His speed was faster than the python's, but he wasn't able to shake it off. Long Chen was still hesitating about whether or not he wanted to take the risk to devour it anyway. After all, the greater the risk, the better the gains. If Huo Linger absorbed it, Long Chen was sure that she would be able to fight a third Heaven Sage World King all by herself. Long Chen then spread his senses far and wide and was unable to find any sense of safety. His intuition was telling him not to play with fire. 
Suddenly, Long Chen spotted a group of people in the distance. Without even thinking about it, he rushed off in that direction. He found that it was a group of over thirty humans. One of them was actually his old friend, Zhao Mingxuan. Zhao Mingxuan and the others had surrounded a region of the Lava Sea, seemingly paying close attention to something. They didn't even notice Long Chen. Long Chen, they are driving the fish together to collect and annihilate them, transmitted Huo Linger. Oh, there's such a good thing? Long Chen was surprised. Huo Linger told Long Chen that Zhao Mingxuan and the others were using their own flame energy to drive those fish together. As they didn't have the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk net, it was unknown what they were planning to do after bunching those heavenly flame spirits together. But that wasn't what Long Chen was thinking about. You will linger. Tell that python that my reinforcements are here. That fellow with the crown is our leader, and now it's definitely dead, transmitted Long Chen. You will linger immediately transformed into the form of a dragon and roared at that python. As a result, after she was done, smoke came steaming out of the python's body and it roared back. What is it saying? asked Long Chen. It's cursing us, laughed Huo Linger. Tell it that the crown fellow says that he will rip out its bones, skin it, and take over its territory. He will eat all of its food. Long Chen added some more spice into the mix. At this time, Long Chen was getting very close to Zhao Mingxuan and the others. Only then did Zhao Mingxuan and the others notice Long Chen. When they saw his sinister smile, they instantly had a bad feeling. Then they saw that terrifying python. Huo Linger roared a few more things at the python, and Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to find that the python's killing intent really did slide off of him and lock onto Zhao Mingxuan. A mountainous pressure instantly vanished from his body. Seeing Zhao Mingxuan's shocked expression, Long Chen reacted quickly. He threw out his net and instantly captured thousands of heavenly flame spirits that Zhao Mingxuan and the others had bitterly worked to bunch together. Thank you, brothers. Don't feel bad. This is just the soup. I'm leaving the big piece of meat for you. Long Chen and Huo Linger pulled in the net and immediately fled. As for the raging flame heavenly palaces experts, they had yet to understand what was going on before Long Chen was already far off in the distance. Watch out! Just as they were bewildered, Zhao Mingxuan's startled cry broke them out of their reverie. That python's scales lit up. It then opened its mouth, and a giant flame sphere came out of it. After that, heaven and earth seemed to flip. The immense power made the ten thousand Daos weep. Clearly, this python believed Huo Linger's words and viewed this all as Zhao Mingxuan's fault. It immediately launched its strongest killing blow. Boom! The flame sphere was like a sun exploding. Huge waves erupted out of the sea, making it impossible to see anything else. Long Chen had long since fled far away but was still flung into the distance by that terrifying Kai wave. That fellow's attack is really vicious. Long Chen jumped in shock. Although he had known that it was an existence on par with a fifth heaven stage world king, he was still stunned by this attack. The shock waves from tens of thousands of miles away were still able to make his Kai and blood flip inside of him, almost making him cough up blood. If he was struck directly, there was no way he could keep his life. What a terrifying attack! Good thing that we didn't fight it. Even with the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net, we wouldn't be able to suppress it, said Huo Linger. Although the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net was powerful, with Long Chen and Huo Linger's current power, there was no way for them to draw out its full potential. At that time, they might be able to capture it inside, but it would only turn into a battle of attrition. That terrifying attack just now was enough to prove its power. There was no way the two of them would be able to outlast it. Furthermore, 
if they did encounter other geniuses who attacked them in the process, they would be doomed. Did Zhao make Xuan die? asked Huo Linger as she watched the lava waves rage. No, that fellow definitely has treasures. Do you see that python flying off in the other direction? Clearly, that fellow didn't die and it's chasing to kill him, Long Chen pointed out. The python's killing intent had not diminished, so Zhao Mingxuan clearly hadn't died. To be able to take on such a terrifying attack without dying, that showed Long Chen that Zhao Mingxuan, Yuo Zijun, and the other heavenly geniuses on their level all had terrifying trump cards. Their backgrounds were truly amazing. Linger, it seems that I'll be depending on you in this heavenly flame world. Let's keep going. Long Chen saw that if he wanted to crush these people, he would need to improve Huo Linger's power. They couldn't waste any moment. Long Chen and Huo Linger continued flying deeper into the heavenly flame world. Chapter 3536 Long Chen turned tail and fled. At this moment, two Fifth Heaven Stage World King Heavenly Spirit Fish were crazily chasing him. How am I so unlucky? Long Chen cursed furiously. This was the seventh day since he had entered this world. Using the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net, he was catching a crazy number of Heavenly Flame Spirits. Hence, Huo Linger had also devoured an unknown number of Heavenly Flame Spirits. Her true combat power was practically capable of matching a third heaven stage world king now. As a result, Long Chen's heart had grown greedy, and he had started to look for a fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit to consume. He found that the heavenly flame spirits in the lava sea were quite a bit weaker than the ones on the land, so it would be a bit safer. Thus, in the last few days, Long Chen had started baiting fish in the lava sea. Today, he had finally summoned the courage to bait a fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit. After tremendous effort, they finally managed to suppress it, only to end up disturbing another strong heavenly flame spirit. Seeing the situation take a terrible turn, Long Chen and Huo Linger directly fled. They fled all the way out of the lava sea region, and only then did those heavenly flame spirits return to within the lava. After that, Long Chen wiped off some cold sweat. Yu King Shuen had said that the heavenly flame world would stay for around 21 days. As a third of the time was already over, Long Chen had to hurry up to help Huo Linger absorb more heavenly flame spirits. Big Brother Long Chen, just now, if I used the ice soul power, I could definitely kill them. Why didn't you let me? Huo Linger couldn't help asking. Foolish girl, the ice soul power isn't your core energy. Once you use it, it won't recover for at least ten days. If some terrifying existence comes out at that time, we'll be doomed. The ice soul power is our final life-saving trump card. We can't use it unless we have no other choice, said Long Chen. Huo Linger had merged with that rune of the ice soul and could control a trace of the ice soul's power. However, this rune was like an energy storage rune. Once the rune's energy was used up, they would have to wait until it recharged, and that would take too long. Thus, Long Chen didn't dare to allow Huo Linger to use it just yet. Then are we returning to the lava sea? asked Huo Linger. Long Chen pondered their options and then shook his head. No, although it's big, there are too many people there. Everyone has noticed that the heavenly flame spirits aren't too dangerous in the lava sea, so they are putting all their efforts there. When there are too many wolves, there isn't enough meat. Furthermore, after fishing for so many days, the fish have gotten smarter, and we're getting fewer and fewer. Getting some soup with all these people isn't as good as pressing forward and seeing if we can get some big meat. The lava sea was large, but too many people were gathering there. If others didn't provoke Long Chen, he didn't feel good driving them off. 
hence his efficiency had been dropping over the last two days that was why long chen had taken the risk of trying to subdue a fifth heaven state heavenly flame spirit furthermore we haven't seen zhao mingxuan wu yang and the others during this time they might have found a better place so they haven't come back here we should press onwards after resting a bit he and huo linger returned to their peak condition and continued deeper past the lava sea was a lava swamp suddenly fluctuations came from ahead and long chen rushed in that direction he heard roaring after that he saw a cheetah several meters long chasing down a foot-long white fox the fox was small but it was very fast it maintained a set distance from the cheetah the entire time the fox was actually rushing straight toward long chen seeing that he wasn't afraid it was like it had seen its lucky star and threw itself into long chen's embrace long chen was dumbfounded and instinctively caught it after that the fox hopped onto his shoulder and hid behind him guo linger then appeared with a flame spear and killed the cheetah it was a two rune heavenly flame spirit and she could easily kill it the white fox started to cry on long chen's shoulder seemingly expressing something but long chen didn't understand for now the only thing he could sense was that it bore no malice against him it's asking you to send it home it will repay you translated huo linger oh long chen was even more confused this white fox was clearly a heavenly flamed spirit was this place not its home when you're just trying to make great content at Navaloon, calm the little fox seemed to understand his words it once more cried out it's saying that this place isn't its home it accidentally ran over here it can see the way back but there are too many demons that want to eat it so it can't get back it has been stuck in this world for a long time and has missed three chances if it still can't get back this time it will die here said huo linger when the little fox was done explaining it actually rubbed its little head on long chen's neck looking at him with a pleading expression but our time is limited where is its home how will we find it how long will it take asked long chen the little fox once more spoke and huo linger explained its home is at the end of the whirlpool there seems to be an exit there based on its explanation it seems a bit similar to the entrance we came through it lived in another world and one day it was sucked in by a gate and came to the heavenly flame world because of this it has to spend every day hiding from the other heavenly flame spirits it has no concept of time and only knows that it has been here for a very long time three times it saw the exit to its home appear but it was unable to get through the demons and was almost eaten this time it met you it says that you can definitely bring it home otherwise it will die here because this is its final chance if it misses it the energy inside its body will not last until the next time the exit appears seeing this little fellow pitifully staring at him long chen helplessly said fine we can try it but it can't get in the way of our return worst case scenario we just won't hunt long chen really couldn't harden his heart enough to refuse this pitiful little fellow he agreed to try the little fox instantly became delighted its body shrank until it was like a squirrel obediently squatting on long chen's shoulder huo linger exchanged a few more words with it long chen learned that the center of that giant whirlpool had another entrance to this world that connected to another world according to the little fox the heavenly flame world would often form entrances to other worlds but the entrance to the foxy's world would only appear once in a very long period furthermore after it was sucked into the heavenly flame world it could only rely on its core energy to survive it could not cultivate here moreover every day it had to nervously hide from those fiendish spirits 
Long Chen investigated its core energy and found that it was lying. Although it was also a flame attribute life form, the energy inside of its body was pure and peaceful. The wild flame energy would not merge with it. Furthermore, it really was almost out of core energy. If it stayed here any longer, it would die. Little fox, you lead the way. I'll send you home. Long Chen took a deep breath. Although he knew that it was a bit foolish, there was no other way. He couldn't just watch as this pitiful little fellow died. The little fox squatted on Long Chen's left shoulder, while Huo Linger transformed into a little flame dragon squatting on his right shoulder. Along the way, the little fox gave directions while Huo Linger translated. Just like this, Long Chen was directed into the depths of this world. Chapter 3537 Big Brother Long Chen, up ahead on the left side. It says that there is the nest of a seventh heaven stage world king heavenly flame spirit. Big Brother Long Chen, wait a moment. There's an underground flame river up ahead. You'll get washed away as soon as you step on it. We have to wait until it comes first. The little fox repeatedly chattered away while Huo Linger translated. This little fox had clearly figured out the way home and was clear on where the danger was. Furthermore, it explained the terrain of the surroundings as well. As a result, they essentially gained a map of this region. The little fox had been here for countless years, so it was very familiar with the terrains and heavenly flame spirits here. Long Chen was delighted by this. With this map, he found that there were many treasures to be taken. However, first he had to send the fox home. Through the fox's pointers, Long Chen was constantly avoiding the more terrifying existences. Against the weaker ones, Long Chen directly devoured them. The little fox said that it wasn't afraid of those terrifying existences because they all ignored it. It was only heavenly flame spirits at the third heaven stage and below that would try to kill it. It was always forced to flee in terror by those fellows, causing it to miss its chance to return home. Every time, he could only watch as the exit back to his home vanished. The laws of the heavenly flame world didn't seem quite the same as what Long Chen had imagined. There were terrifying existences here that could get along with the weaker ones. The weak heavenly flame spirits actually weren't afraid of those stronger ones. That was because after they grew to a certain level, they would no longer devour the weak. Thus, there was no conflict between the strongest and the weakest heavenly flame spirits. Due to that law, there were weak heavenly flame spirits everywhere. It was those weaker ones that became the little fox's bane, cutting off its path home. However, Long Chen still had to be careful. While those terrifying existences might accept weak little heavenly flame spirits, they would not permit a human in their territory. Once they sensed him, that would spell trouble. As he approached the depths of the whirlpool, he found that the flame energy grew even more terrifying. Sometimes, he wouldn't even need the little fox's warning before he sensed some aura that made his hair stand on end. The further they went, the more terrifying the heavenly flame spirits got. In fact, Long Chen even saw a heavenly flame spirit with nine kinds of runes on its body sleeping soundly on top of a mountain. That was equivalent to a ninth heaven stage world king. When it snored, Long Chen's soul almost fled. Furthermore, more and more of those ninth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits appeared. The little fox said that the exit was right behind them. Long Chen even started to regret it a bit. This was practically playing with his life. Why had he agreed to this? But an agreement was an agreement, so he forced himself through. Fortunately, those ninth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits were all in slumber. As long as he didn't make any noise, he wouldn't disturb them. Long Chen did a quick count. There were hundreds of such heavenly flame spirits. On his way here, he had also killed a few dozen of weaker heavenly flame spirits, 
but that had not disturbed these terrifying existences. Finally, one day later, Long Chen saw a spatial gate up ahead. This spatial gate had golden flames spurting out of it. After that, Long Chen saw a giant golden dragon slumbering there, allowing the golden flames to wash over its body. It looked like it was enjoying a bath. Not good. The little fox says that this heavenly flame spirit is now awake, so it can't get back, said Huo Linger. Didn't it say that more powerful heavenly flame spirits won't make things hard on it? Asked Long Chen. It says that this is a terrifying king of the heavenly flame spirits. Based on the human race's realms, it should belong to the divine venerate realm. It won't attack the little fox, but just its pressure alone will crush the little fox. With it at the exit, the little fox can't get through, said Huo Linger. Long Chen looked at the little fox. As expected, he saw a disappointed expression. It was on his shoulder with paws over its eyes as if it was crying. Just as success was right before it, it sank into despair. That feeling was truly unbearable. Don't cry. There are always more solutions than problems. I'll think of a way to get you through, said Long Chen. The little fox shook its head and continued crying. Huo Linger said, It says that there is no solution. That heavenly flame spirit king is attracted by the golden flames. It is absorbing them to raise its cultivation base so it won't leave. If we try to force our way through, the three of us will die. It doesn't want to implicate us, so it says to give up. Seeing how hard the little fox was crying, Long Chen also didn't know what he was feeling inside. He was currently thinking as he eyed that dragon. This was a twin-winged vile dragon, one of the more fearful dragon species. However, since it wasn't a life form of flesh and blood, Long Chen's dragon pressure would not have any effect on it. It was standing right in front of the gate with its mouth open, absorbing the golden flames coming out. If they wanted to get through the gate, they had to walk over its body. I'll try it. Long Chen thought for a long time and was unable to think of any solutions. Thus, he chose to stop thinking and just walk over. The little fox says that it's too dangerous. Don't try, said Huo Linger. Long Chen looked at the little fox. It was crying as it looked at him, seemingly unwilling to let him die. Long Chen smiled and rubbed its head comfortingly. No matter what, he would have to try. Giving up like this was not his style. A quick look at Nava Loon calm will leave you more fulfilled. He stealthily slipped close to the two-winged vile dragon. As he did, his hair stood on end. Its power was truly terrifying. It was like a volcano, and if the slightest bit of its power was unleashed, he would be blown to bits. Fortunately, it was focused on the golden flames and didn't pay attention to them. Long Chen then had Huo Linger also absorb some of those golden flames so that she could cover their auras. That way, they wouldn't be sensed so easily. Long Chen quickly reached the vile dragon's tail. This was an incredibly long tail, almost half the length of the entire vile dragon. He didn't know what species this vile dragon was. If it weren't for this long tail, it would look more like a bat. At the end of this tail was a giant bone stinger that was like a spear, flickering with cold light. Fortunately, Long Chen and the others were as tiny as ants in front of it. As they cautiously progressed, they didn't draw its attention. However, once they climbed onto its back, Long Chen sensed an immense pressure that was growing greater. Furthermore, the golden flames were gushing out here, which was also pressing him back. He had no choice but to use his astral power just to protect himself. Long Chen continued climbing up the dragon's back. He saw the gate right before him, but it was at this moment that the dragon's eyes opened. Fuck! Long Chen instantly tossed out the net around the dragon and shot toward the gate like a shooting star. Chapter 3538 At this time, 
Long Chen couldn't even bother with whether the phoenix blood heavenly silk net could endure. He first charged toward the gate with the fox. Once they got close to the gate, Long Chen grabbed the little fox and was about to throw it in. However, before he threw it, the gate suddenly unleashed a strange suction force that drew him in. Hey, I don't want to enter. Long Chen was startled, but before he could even struggle, the scenery around him changed. Golden light filled his eyes, and it was so bright that he couldn't even open his eyes. After a while, Long Chen gradually got used to the light here. When he saw the world that he was in, he was dumbfounded. This was a peaceful and auspicious world. The ground was covered in golden lotuses, and they were endless. Some of them were large and some were small. The large ones filled the sky while the small ones were only the size of a palm, swaying ever so slightly on the pools. After Long Chen appeared, countless small foxes stuck their heads out from behind the lotuses, staring at Long Chen curiously. When they saw the little fox in Long Chen's hand, they let out startled cries and flew over. As for that little fox in his hand, it also grew excited and shot out, rejoicing with those other foxes. They ran atop the lotuses, seemingly expressing their joy. Seeing that the fox had returned to its home, Long Chen turned to leave. He had no idea how long the phoenix blood heavenly silk net would endure. If the vile dragon had yet to escape it, then he would still have a chance to escape with his life. Noble guest, please wait. Just as Long Chen was about to leave, a gentle voice rang out. A beautiful woman in a golden dress then appeared before Long Chen, standing on a golden lotus platform. As soon as she appeared, the little fox jumped into her embrace and cried out excitedly, This child, you're too naughty. How many times have I warned you not to get close to that spatial gate? But you never listen. If it weren't for this noble guest's aid, you would probably have died in the heavenly flame world. Now are you going to listen? The beautiful woman rebuked the little fox in her hand, but her gaze was one of love. Senior, I still have some urgent matters to attend to, so I'll be leaving. Any thanks can wait until later. Long Chen didn't want to tarry any longer, so he cupped his fists to her. Don't worry. I have frozen the time at the exit. Your net won't be damaged, so you can rest easy, said the beautiful woman. Long Chen couldn't help being stunned. Frozen time? What kind of heaven-defying ability was that? Just who was this woman? Noble guess, there's no need to worry. Let me introduce myself. I am the one in control of this golden lotus world. All the life forms here are my children. You have risked your life to send my child back, and I am endlessly grateful. The woman actually bowed to Long Chen, and Long Chen hastily returned it. The Golden Lotus World? There was a Golden Lotus World within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. How come he had never heard of it? Long Chen looked more closely at this world. This was a world of flames, but the flames here were not explosive. They gave off endless warmth. Standing here, he felt like his soul was being constantly cleansed. Noble Sir is the first human to come ever since the Golden Lotus world was born. I have a few questions I wish to ask you. Can you give me some guidance? The beautiful woman was very courteous. She was so respectful that Long Chen was getting embarrassed. Senior is the master of an entire world. There's really no need to be so courteous. Otherwise, I'd feel restrained, said Long Chen humbly. He could not sense this woman's cultivation base or spiritual fluctuations. She seemed to be one with this world. Long Chen had never seen such an existence before. Furthermore, for some reason, he felt a certain reverence toward her. This reverence came from deep within his soul. What do you think is the kindest existence within the world? asked the woman. After a moment of thought, Long Chen said, Water is the source of all life. 
it profits all things but doesn't ask for anything thus this little one believes that if we are talking about the kindest existence in this world it would have to be water he didn't know what her intentions were by asking such a question then what do you believe is the most evil existence in this world asked the woman long chen was dumbfounded this junior really has no way of answering that if it was about the kindest existence then his first thought was water because in the mortal world all life forms had to stay close to water water was the source of all life thus everyone knew just how important water was however the most able existence long chen really was unable to say it didn't matter if it was the devils ghosts or demons they might be evil but long chen had a feeling that their evil was not the worst of all find the original at Navaloon, come that's all right we are just casually chatting even if you are wrong it won't matter encouraged the woman her smile was very warm it was like an autumn breeze cleansing the soul i've encountered many evil life forms and i've also killed may rather than saying that their innate characters are evil it would be better to say that they have lost their original characters after being clouded by desire causing them to sink into becoming devils devils are not just one kind of race all life forms who lose their core nature end up as devils sometimes i even feel like i am the most evil existence in this world said long chen with a bitter smile why do you say that asked the woman curiously because when some people enrage me i can't help wanting to crush them i don't even know where such an evil desire comes from i pity them but they don't pity me i can let them off but they will always try to kill me sometimes i feel an impulse to kill everyone who opposes me in this world i want all life forms to prostrate themselves beneath my feet i want them unable to even form the thought of defying me said long chen isn't this what all experts want follow me and prosper defy me and die that seems to be the style of many experts said the woman with a smile long chen shook his head my current opponents are precisely those kinds of experts they make a fool out of other lives i hate them and i look down on them if i were to be the same as them wouldn't i have turned myself into an existence that i hate and look down on do you sometimes feel very lost not knowing what exactly you should do also you don't know if what you're doing is right you are afraid of doing something wrong and afraid of ultimately becoming an existence that you detest especially when you are lonely do you keep questioning your heart how how did you know long chen was shocked in that instant he felt like all his secrets had been seen through by her furthermore when he looked into her eyes he felt his dark energy crashing angrily like waves she seemed to have seen through the other self within his body you are a good child perhaps you are the one i am waiting for this seed is yours i hope it can illuminate a path within your dark world she then opened her hand revealing a golden lotus seed at that moment the entire golden lotus world's lotuses instantly blossomed endless golden light dripped down from the stamens and pistils of every lotus and flowed into this lotus seed that golden lotus seed seemed to come to life it slowly floated into long chen's hand chapter three thousand five hundred thirty nine when you're just trying to make great content at Navaloon, calm long chen looked at this lotus seed that had concentrated all the power of an entire world his heart pounded wildly this lotus seed was probably a heaven-defying divine object senior i saved this little fellow simply because i wanted to i did not come for any reward although it was a heaven-defying treasure long chen felt like accepting this present would make his heart uneasy no no this is not a reward nor is it a transaction this should be considered destiny it is karma 
The golden lotus world's lotus sea has just matured when you came. As for you, you need it. This is fate, said the woman with a smile. Long Chen looked at the lotus seed. It seemed to be made out of pure gold. However, it didn't have the slightest weight and just floated right above his hand. He couldn't sense its power, and yet it also seemed to contain endless power. Although he didn't know its origins, he could see that all the energy of the golden lotus world was entering it. This lotus seed was definitely a priceless treasure. Senior, you say that I need it? Why? Asked Long Chen. Your life is very bitter. Half of you is in darkness, and the other half is in light. You are working hard to maintain the balance. It is like you are walking on thin ice over a deep abyss. You know that you were right to kill those life forms, no matter how many it was. But you are also afraid that you killed a good person. You are carrying such weight that your heart is sinking, bringing you to the devil Tao. You are working hard to persevere your core heart, but the more cautious you are, the harder you force yourself. You will constantly add more burdens to yourself. A person's power can be endless, but that is only compared to external forces. No matter how strong a person is, if they constantly find burdens to carry, sooner or later, they will surpass their limit. Keep this in mind. The Bodhi had no tree, and the mirror had no platform. If they never existed, where did the dust come from? Long Chen's heart shook. This was a saying that he had heard as a child. In the Phoenix Cry Empire's college, this was a question that had to be answered to pass the exams. The Bodhi tree was also called the Tree of Wisdom. The mirror platform referred to the ability that allowed people to keep a peaceful heart, to understand their core heart. It was the ability to see themselves clearly. Amongst the cultivators, it was also called the Spirit Platform. There were actually two sayings that were part of it, but they were made by two different people. The other one was, the body is like a Bodhi tree, the heart is like the mirror platform. They must be wiped occasionally to clean away any dust. It was an attitude of taking great care and working hard at self-cultivation. It was just like Long Chen's current state, afraid of making any tiny mistakes that could cause his Tao heart to become covered in dust, he spent every day cleaning it. Just as this woman said, it was like he was walking over a deep abyss on thin ice. He was practically trembling with fear, not daring to make the slightest mistake. The other saying that was made by the other person was also simple, but contained an entirely different realm. The Bodhi had no tree, and the mirror had no platform. If they never existed, where did the dust come from? What was the Bodhi tree? What was the mirror platform? Those were all idle chatter, things that never existed from the start. If you wiped it occasionally, what exactly were you wiping? Who were you wiping it for? There was nothing there from the start, so which dust were you cleaning? Long Chen hadn't expected this little saying from when he was young to be known by this senior of unknown origins. Now that she reminded him of it, Long Chen felt enlightened. He bowed deeply toward her, respectfully saying, Many thanks for your pointer, senior. This little one's eyes have been opened. The current Long Chen seemed as if he had been freed from a curse, as if he had escaped from some shackles. His entire body seemed to be more relaxed. Before this, he was constantly afraid of becoming a devil, so he was always careful with what he did, constantly calculating how to inhibit the growth of his heart devil. That state was already a kind of display of being bedeviled. Thus, it was truly very tiring for Long Chen to be living right now. He no longer had that kind of heroic feeling, the feeling of being full of youthful energy, something from when he first stepped a foot out of the Phoenix Cry Empire all that time ago. Now, with this woman's reminder, Long Chen seemed to remember the days when he had nothing binding him. His body was full of energy, and he was also full of confidence in himself. At that moment, 
Long Chen felt like the world was full of sunlight driving away the shadows in his heart. The woman smiled. Take good care of this lotus seed. It will be of immense use to you. Put it away. Many thanks, senior. Long Chen once more thanked her and sent the lotus seed into the primal chaos space. He then planted it, hoping for it to grow into even more golden lotuses. He found that it contained dense flame energy. Furthermore, this flame energy seemed to be the most primeval flame. Although he didn't know how to use it, he knew it was definitely something amazing. The most unexpected thing, though, was that right after he planted it, the lotus seed actually broke out of the earth and flew into the sky, floating motionlessly high in the air of the primal chaos space. Once it stopped there, it slowly emitted a gentle light that filled the primal chaos space. The primal chaos space was filled with its golden divine radiance. The primal chaos space didn't change because of it. But the moment its golden radiance spread, Long Chen felt like he was reborn. His essence, Kai, and spirit were instantly raised to their peak. Long Chen was changing, but he didn't know exactly how. That feeling was very mysterious, and he was unable to explain it clearly. He felt like he had become relaxed, as if all dangers were nothing to him. No matter how great the problem, he had the confidence to face it. Don't call me senior. According to the human race's way of speaking, I should be surnamed Gong. You can call me Aunt Gong, said the woman, smiling when she saw Long Chen's face had the golden divine radiance shining on it. Aunt Gong. Long Chen respectfully said this new appellation. He was full of gratitude toward this kindly elder. Ignoring whatever that lotus seed was, just her pointer alone was enough to benefit him immensely. It was just that the gong that she said and the gong that he said were entirely two different concepts. One, good child, there's no need to give yourself so many burdens. In truth, this world isn't so complicated. There are kind people in this world, but there are also devils that throw the world into chaos. Those kind people might be killed at any moment by them. When a saint appears, they protect the lives of the kind, providing for them, not letting them freeze in the cold. They open the path for them, not letting them be trapped in danger. You are the one to provide for them, the one to open the path for them. But there will not be many people to help you. Thus, your path will be harder than others. When people are at their weakest, there are more bad people. Thus, many times, there's no need to differentiate between good and evil. Persevere until you accomplish your dreams. Amongst kind people, there are also fools. When kind people are foolish, they sometimes cause even greater calamities than evil people. When they do evil things with good intentions, they bring a scourge upon the world. This is a common occurrence. In this world, only the virtue of the heavenly Tao's is the fairest. It will not allow you to escape punishment for committing grave sins just because you did them with kindness in your heart. The Tao of virtue will only remember the result, not your heart or process. Your path is for all the lives in the world and not for your own selfish desires. Thus, you can be at ease. You don't need to have any misgivings. The woman brushed Long Chen's cheek tenderly, her words solemn. She seemed like a mother imploring her own child, telling him not to be afraid, telling him that he was right. Long Chen's eyes reddened and tears almost fell out. She seemed to be able to see through his inner heart, through his soul. She could see his grievances. Even Long Chen, an iron man, couldn't bear it. Good child, Return to your world. The golden lotus's divine radiance will forever shine on you. You will never be alone, she encouraged. Long Chen nodded. He once more bowed toward her before turning around and stepping into the spatial gate. One she called herself Aunt Gong, Chinese letter Gong meaning meritorious deed, accomplishment. 
Long Chen called her aunt Gong Chinese letter meaning palace. They are both pronounced the exact same. Chapter 3540 When Long Chen stepped through the gate, a heaven-shaking roar rang out right beside his ear. That two-winged vile dragon was struggling crazily within the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Fortunately, time was frozen during his journey in the golden lotus world. This vile dragon looked the same as when he had first cast the phoenix blood heavenly silk net over it. Before this, he wouldn't hesitate. He would directly flee and just give up on the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. However, with the golden lotus seed in the primal chaos space, Long Chen's confidence soared. His head was clear. This lotus seed gave him endless courage and power. It felt like there was nothing in this world that he couldn't do. Like a bolt of lightning, he grabbed the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Kuo Linger, bind its mouth, shouted Long Chen. Kuo Linger transformed into flame chains that wrapped around the vile dragon's head. Meanwhile, Long Chen pulled on the phoenix blood heavenly silk net, and his astral power flowed through it. Therefore, that dragon's mouth was tightly bound. By the time it realized this, its mouth could no longer be opened. It might have terrifying force biting down, but with its mouth bound, it didn't have much power when it came to opening its mouth. Working together, Long Chen and Huo Linger managed to bind its mouth shut. This phoenix blood heavenly silk net's toughness was shocking. It was almost impossible to break it. With the dragon's mouth bound, it couldn't use its supreme killing moves. This would protect the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Seeing that it really worked, Long Chen was delighted. Moreover, there was no one here who could disturb them. If he and Huo Linger worked together, perhaps they really could subdue this terrifying dragon. Long Chen stood atop its head. But suddenly, the void rumbled and a black figure pierced toward Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, watch out. Huo Linger cried out in shock. Just as Long Chen was pulling the net with all his power, he forgot about the dragon's long tail that was still exposed. Its tail pierced toward Long Chen thunderously. Its tail had a long bone stinger that flickered with cold light. That sharpness easily pierced the void. Long Chen jumped. He had actually forgotten about this. Immediately, he activated the lightning body blink. Boom. The bone stinger pierced through Long Chen's after image. However, Long Chen still coughed up blood and tumbled back. Despite dodging the actual stinger, the shock waves almost smashed him apart. Furthermore, it broke through Huel Linger's body. This attack truly caused heaven and earth to change color. Long Chen was blown into the distance and smashed into a tough mountain, causing it to half collapse. Long Chen then coughed up another mouthful of blood. On the other hand, Huo Linger had been blasted into runes and hastily pulled herself into the shape of a small dragon on Long Chen's shoulder. They both hid behind the rocks from the dragon. However, seeing it motionless, Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. Its head had caved in. It had actually struck itself dizzy. Huo Linger... Pull it in quick, shouted Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, it's no good. It's too powerful, and as a whole, I cannot absorb it. Kuo Linger transformed into countless flame dragons that bit at the vile dragon, but she was shocked to find that she couldn't bite through it. No way, it's that powerful. Long Chen was shocked. Kuo Linger was unable to absorb it. Then wouldn't all of this have been for nothing? No, it isn't an actual living creature. It has no body of flesh and blood. Perhaps it can be brought into the primal chaos space. Long Chen suddenly slapped his leg. Three, two, one, pull. As Long Chen and Huo Linger pulled with all their might, the void shuddered. The giant vile dragon and the phoenix blood heavenly silk net 
were instantly drawn into the primal chaos space. Seeing that it really did work, Long Chen and Hua Linger cried out delightedly. They actually succeeded. Inside the primal chaos space, the vile dragon instantly awoke. It opened its mouth and roared. Seeing this, Long Chen smiled mischievously. The primal chaos space would put it in its place. However, what he hadn't expected was for the golden lily seed to quiver, and a gentle light illuminated the vile dragon. It actually instantly crumbled apart, transforming into a sphere of flames. This, Long Chen and Hu Linger were stunned. That golden light instantly turned the vile dragon into runes. Its wickedness, its brutality, its bloodthirstiness, they were all gone without a trace. It was now simply pure energy. Its runes flowed around gently, seemingly harmless. Was it purified? This novel is available on Navaloon. Kong Long Chen didn't know what had happened, but it seemed that all its negative auras were removed, turning it into a clump of pure energy. Long Chen then stared in shock at the golden lotus seed. It had to be known that the dragon was in existence on the level of a divine venerate. It was purified so easily. This proved his guess that Aunt Gong had given him an amazing divine object. Originally, Long Chen had thought that the lotus seed was to steady his heart, letting him no longer question himself, completely stabilizing his mind. But now, he found that it definitely wasn't so simple. Furthermore, Aunt Gong's eyes were full of wisdom. It was as if she could see through the future, and every single one of her words contained hidden profundities. Ever since coming out of the Golden Lotus world, Long Chen felt like he had completely transformed. He was freed from those heavy burdens that had been so heavy that he couldn't breathe. Aunt Gong said that he was acting correctly, and that gave him endless confidence. He could truly act as he pleased then. Now that he had gained a lotus seed that could easily deal with a divine venerate, Long Chen's confidence soared. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking roar rang out. Long Chen jumped in shock, and his mind hastily retreated from the primal chaos space. He then looked in the distance. In that direction, another terrifying aura was rising. It did not seem inferior to the vile dragon that he had just subdued at all. The heavenly flame world doesn't just have one divine venerate level heavenly flame spirit. Long Chen was surprised, but he was also enticed. However, he then looked at the phoenix blood heavenly silk net and suppressed that urge. Just now, the struggling of the vile dragon had damaged the net in some places. It needed some time to repair itself. They had relied entirely on luck to capture that vile dragon, and that kind of luck would not occur twice. Hence, Long Chen decided to obediently leave this dangerous region. Long Chen returned according to his original path. However, Long Chen was rather depressed to find that while Hua Linger was able to absorb the vile dragon's runes, it was very taxing to do so. Those runes were too powerful, and absorbing them was very difficult. It was like a baby using baby teeth to gnaw at a bone. Hua Linger exhausted herself without getting to eat much. Ultimately, Long Chen had Hua Linger not waste the effort. He then brought her hunting for those weaker heavenly flame spirits. They should take things gradually. As Hua Linger grew stronger, they became able to unleash greater power from the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Just like the saying, one mouthful wouldn't make someone a fatty, they had to take things step by step. Long Chen thought of a certain region that had quite a few fourth heaven stage heavenly flame kings. At that time, due to protecting the little fox, he hadn't bothered them. Now he stealthily crept over again. However, he was shocked to find that quite a few cultivators were sneaking over there as well. Is there some treasure here? Long Chen was surprised and snuck his way closer. Suddenly, he noticed a group of familiar figures. 
is the path between enemies really so narrow 